the face that you'll be seeing tonight as we react to our friend William Knight the nightmare enjoy the show watching the fights on our screen over here reacting live during the fights and uh, William the Nightmare Knight is the second fight on the card second appearance in the contender series and JBH are you nervous uh no I'm never nervous William Knight's got this are you nervous yes I am very nervous he's fi- and by the way DC in the booth over here this time uh look at that no Paul Felder Paul Felder get out of here ginger we're bringing on DC. So DC's doing the Contender Series, moving on to his afterlife. And uh, good luck to Daniel Cormier. Yeah, I'm nervous, man. Why would I not be nervous? The guy he's fighting is young, so mm-hmm. that goes in William's favor. Yeah. But he seems like a lot of people are picking him, and uh, he trains with some already UFC-made fighters, and uh, I'm nervous. Cody Brindage. 5-0, and oh, undefeated, and it's only five fights. 26 years old, he's long, he's lanky, lengthy, and uh, yeah, a little uh, little worried. The only reason why I'm not is he's got frosted hair, Chessie. That's mm-hmm. the only reason why I'm like, all right, maybe uh, I'm not too worried. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just, uh, that's why, yeah. Uh, by the way, we've got a subscriber over here. What up? Kristoff Novak. Thank you for the sub. Uh It's Kristoff, Jesse. Kristoff. Christoph Novak. <laughs> How dare you pronounce Christoph's names wrong? Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to this, but we have a couple of things. Uh, a gentleman from Law MMA is headlining the card, Dennis Bazucha. I don't know how to say his name. Bazucha. Shopping during a pandemic. I've seen him fight before in Bellator. WW Holes, let's do this again all night. I love you all. The MMA Holes WW Contender Series here. We got our brother drunk Alex, dressed flat, and Mike Sean. Wow. Carper Tom kicking it off. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Carper Tom. That was very nice of you. Very, very nice of you. So, Jess, are you pumped up? I mean, when we have a hole fighting, yeah, it gets exciting. Yes! Uh, that's right. That Jess is excited. For you? Yes, that's very <laughs> pumped. And here is William Knight with his oversized MMA hole shirt. And if he gets the win, we'll send him one that fits. How about that? Okay. Uh, Speaking of shirts, Buster. D Rest, wherever you got these shirts, Perfect. Fit perfect. I have zero complaints. The quality is great. Thank you, D-Rest. There you go. Shout out to D-Rest. Wonderful, wonderful. For the wonderful, wonderful shirt. And Buster33 for subscribing. Appreciate that. Buster, you're right on the desk now. Just like that. It's that simple. Look, they're showing highlights from CES of William Knight. The nightmare. Very strangely shaped human being, this William Knight, as he is five foot ten. they say. I think that's fudging the numbers. I think he might be a little bit shorter than that, but he is jacked. 
William Knight is pure muscle. He's BBC Steel. He's got the wrestling, and when he gets on top of you, it's very problematic. Now they're showing uh, his opponent over here, which I don't know too much about, but all sources say he's a good wrestler, and uh, he can do some damage on the ground as well. So it's an interesting matchup, Jess. What do you think after watching these highlights? Um, I'm usually you can tell when the content when um shopping during a pandemic. Hold on, D rest. There he is. I am totally triggered. It in vogue. Pay the fuck attention to me, or I'll post idiotic shit on the community site. Wow. Whoa. Don't be upset, D rest. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. By the way, I'm out of that. That whole thing. I am not involved. So, I I, I can't even. Thank you for the donation, but that whole situation that he's referring to. Unless you want to take care of that, I am I am staying steering clear from that because it is idiotic. Um, so how about this though, William Knight, who is not the main event of this thing. He was the main event of the last one when he was on the Contender Series, and he won by the way. Uh, got a developmental deal. He is number two, and all you see is things about him and this Cody Brent Brundage. Why is he not the main event of this? Oh, this is what I was going to say. Um, usually you can tell when, like, during the Contender Series when they've set it up for a specific fighter to win the fight. Like, you can, usually you can figure out why where it's lopsided. This one was a little more difficult for me to, to figure out because we've seen William Knight firsthand, and the guy is fucking dangerous. But apparently this Brundage kid, like you've said, Moss, is extremely dangerous as well. So big guy. I think this might be one of the ones where it's a little harder to figure out the... Uh, where where the contender series is trying to go here? Wow, no respect on Williams' name. He's a plus one thirty, the underdog. He did have trouble making weight. Hit it with the uh, bonus hour, so no problemo there. But you know, it wasn't the easiest weight cut. Didn't look like. Um, does look like he has a little bit of a belly too, Jesse. I noticed there's a little belly on Willing. <laughs> I mean, he's got a lot of muscle, but he's rocking the belly too. Maybe a little pandemic belly. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> uh, but he's the underdog. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll get more into that fight, but we need to talk okay. about... okay. Underdog schmunderdog. Yeah, that means nothing, right? Right. Night Nightmare's been an underdog his whole life, for God's sakes. You got Tucker Lutz versus Chase Gibson. That is the first fight on the card. 9-1-0, and oh, the Tucker Lutz. And it's I want to say like Nuck and Futz, right? Tucker Lutz, Nuck and Futz. I feel like it's like a play on words. Lutz. It's fucking weird, his name. He's 9-1-0. and one and oh. Chase Gibson, 9-4-0. Now, what do you think about these two young men? Have they been... It doesn't look like they've been in the Contender Series before. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to go Lutz. You going with a fucking Lutz? Lucking yeah. fucks? Lucking fucks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is just the appetizer. Hopefully, we get a good fight. But we, we're here for William Knight. That's what we're here for. We're d if you want an unbiased call of this fight, well, you're in the wrong place. Just telling you that much. <laughs> just, I'm just letting that know. Uh, Jose Johnson. Jose Johnson versus Ronnie Lawrence. Jimmy Flick versus Nate Smith. Uh, and here's the, the weird one up top over here. You got the Dennis Bazooka. This guy over here, 4 1 0 Law MMA. So I don't know if he's going to have Aljo in his corner or. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to have. Uh, yeah, I, I'm thinking there's not going to be any special names in his corner on this one. Yeah, I don't know. I know Ray Longo did another video. We'll show that in a little bit with the beeping of the horns. That's the thing that Law likes to do. <laughs> Uh, but he actually, uh, fun fact, Jesse, Dennis Bazooka beat our friend uh, Ryan Castro in Bellator mm -hmm. in his pro debut. Yes. He beat him to a pulp. So. I'm just waiting to hear you say the, the, uh, his opponent's name. Uh, Melsic Bogdasarian. Bogdasarian. Yeah. I don't <laughs> want him to win because then I have to say his name in the UFC. No, it's not hard once you get it. Armenia, though. We got Armenia versus Staten Island. Okay, so that's the main event. Yeah. Shopping during a pandemic. JBH, I know my comments are vastly too intelligent for you, but I demand they be read and you show me attention because Black Lives Matter. And I'm not triggered or on my period. I'm from Wakanda, so there. Hmm. Jesse, would Very you like to address that? donation. Thank you. That's UK Cries. <laughs> Thank you, UK Cries, for the donatione. All right, let's see what's going on in that chat. Appreciate the donations and drop a like on the video. Um, Father Thegan says, Justin should have a segment of this show. Post Reloaded, Sean. Sean Hart says, Justin, sup, buddy? El Mapache says, Bogdasarian? Bogdasarian? Yeah, something like that. Bogdasarian? 
Uh, Carver Tom says, thanks, Anne. Hey, bro, this is Justin Jr. Justin Jr. says, Matt Stone, yes, brother. And today, I was busy. I almost missed today's show. No flat brother, Chris and JBH hate me after what I did to them. What? What did he do? Why would we hate you? I don't know what's going on. This community is giving me a headache. Moss. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's a full moon. I'm assuming everybody's on their periods. I, I honestly, I don't know. Why would we hate Justin? Why? No, I think he's joking because oh. he missed the show on on Monday. Oh, so we we hate him because he missed the show. Yeah, I think he's joking, Moss. How dare he! All <laughs> right, here we go. Lutz versus Gibson <laughs> is the first fight that is going to be delighting us. Contender Series season four, week five. Uh, Chase Gibson back to back wins, seven first round finishes. Ooh, creamy. Creamy. Oh, we should have worn our creamy shirts today, Moss. We don't sell those anymore. So, so that's why you notice that. That's why I don't want to wear it. I notice. Oh, really? That's why. Yeah. If we if we don't sell it, I don't wear it. Although that's stupid. So I'm just being comfortable. Still on right the hills merch. I notice you wear a lot more uh, wife beaters now. No, this is called. I'm dirty and sweaty <laughs> and I'm tired, and I just want to watch William <laughs> Knight fight. Oh, okay. That's, I thought that's I thought it was a thing that you were turning into. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I just want to be wife beater moss. I just want to be comfortable right now. I just. <laughs> that's pretty uh, much it. Oh, he thinks that we're mad at him for rejecting the merch. Oh, no. Just, just, Justin, it takes a lot for us to get mad. I'm so angry at you, Justin. You should have never rejected Damon Mayhol's merch. You should be ashamed of yourself. How dare you? How dare you? All right, here we go. His opponent is a... Here's the Lutz. Nuck and Futz. Tucker Lutz. He's <sighs> the one all hoodied up. We should watch Dickie Roberts after this. I, I'd rather blow my brains out. <laughs> Have you ever seen it? I think Ke uh, David Spade is, is funny. Yeah. But I am not watching Dickie Roberts. No, it's that's... Insane. And I think Joe Insane. Dirt was stupid. Kind I think Dickie funny. Roberts was stupid. I think everything that freaking that guy touches is stupid when it comes to a movie. But he was funny on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> that was a pretty good movie. I watched it a lot growing up. That explains a lot. <laughs> All right, so Lutz getting buttered up. And nine fight win streak, last four by knockout. Finished eight of nine wins, six knockouts. Ooh, Shogun fighter uh, fights featherweight and lightweight champion. Shogun fights. So Herbert Wardine just does all of the contender series now. Hell yeah. Hell, Hell to the that. Herb. Uh, MMA Hole says Beehive. Drunk Savage in the chest says Joe Dirt was wonderful, wonderful. Eddie Machete, Maryland. Smells like ass. Moss, have you ever been to Maryland? Yeah. Does it smell like ass? Um, the last time I was there, it wasn't very nice. When I was a kid, like we were at a resort, but it was this is years ago. It wasn't the best. It was Why okay. did you go to Maryland? Here we go. Uh, beach. Lutz twenty six thirty for Gibson five foot eight Lutz five foot ten Gibson one fifty five point five pounds Lutz one fifty six pounds Gibson both of them with a seventy two inch reach. So Gibson is the guy. On the far side, and Lutz is right here. JBH, you ready to take the people to play by play town? I guess I'll take this one, Moss. Thanks for asking. Lutz versus Gibson. Round one has just begun. Lutz in the gray trunks, Gibson in the blue. Gibson kind of threatens coming forward a little bit here, but Lutz is controlling the center as Gibson circles around him. Already 12 seconds into the first round, nobody's thrown a strike yet. Very cautious, these guys. Wow, this guy's a big underdog, Gibson. Gibson's still circling Plus around. Hopping around here. No strikes thrown yet. Oh, here we go. Kick to the body by Lutz. Gibson eats it. Kick to the body by Gibson. Kick to the leg by Lutz. I want to see an underdog victory here. See if Gibson could pull it off. Gibson circling around. Oh, nice Superman punch by, by Gibson. Landing square on the chin of Lutz. Lutz is trying to pressure Gibson towards the outside, but Gibson being very mobile right now. Head kick attempt by Gibson barely grazes the face of Lutz. Gibson circling the outside. Four minutes left on the clock, and Gibson comes charging in with that kick to the body. Lutz comes in with the, the body kick as well, and Gibson returns a couple of shots to the face. Lutz comes charging forward with a couple of strikes. Yikes, uh, I don't know, Moss. Gibson circling around the cage a little bit more now as they just kind of feel each other out, I guess. And here we go. Both of them exchange strike to the face. Lutz with the leg kick. Another combination followed by a leg kick by Lutz. Gibson still staying pretty quick, though. 
on his feet. By the way, the Contender Series is on ESPN+. Plus. If you want to watch it, we have a link in the description down below. You click it. Ooh, oh. two rights by Gibson. Yeah. Landing square on the side of the face of Lutz. Gibson Oof. looks very light on his feet. And very, very heavy flowy. striker, too. Lutz tries to come in with that jab, but no contact. Starts to pressure Gibson on the outside a little bit. Gibson slows down on the hopping. Oh, I take that back. He's still hopping around. Gibson catches a kick by Lutz. Doesn't do anything with it, though. I'm digging uh, Gibson's hairline. Oof, oh, nice combination exchange by both of them. Looks like he's got a hair dick on his head. Right? You see that, Jess? What do you think yeah, about that? Hair, a little great. hair dick? <laughs> it's like a hair dick flopped over his head. <laughs> a kick to the body there by Gibson. Gibson circling the outside again with 2 minutes and 38 seconds on the clock. And Lutz is starting to pressure forward a little bit more here. Lutz is being a little more uh, patient. It's a good Gibson. question, Pulse. I don't know. I know Gotti is supposed to be in the Contender Series. Lutz comes this year. in with that kick to the body. Now the roles are reversed, and Lutz is on the outside. Lutz comes charging forward with a couple of shots. Oh, no, Gibson Jesse. on the outside, yeah. You see outside the cage, my, my sweetheart, darling, beautiful, Puka Pachu, Adelaide Bird is there, yeah. Jesse. Gorgeous, as usual. She looks great. Nice head kick by Lutz. Gibson returns the left. A leg kick by Lutz. Gibson on the outside. Lutz comes in with another kick. Gibson catches it and comes in with a jab. Minute and 57 seconds left on the clock. Both of them back to the center. Gibson looking for that perfect opportunity, but Lutz is just keeping control over the center of that cage. Gibson comes charging in with that left. No contact. Gibson kind of backing up a little bit as Lutz takes more steps of pressure. Here we go. A leg kick by Lutz. Another leg kick. He's working them thing nicely. But Gibson slowed down a little bit here. Yeah, Gibson was hopping around in the beginning, and now he's just kind of walking around slow, being a little more patient. Oh. Here we go. Gibson knocks down or kind of slips down as he throws that kick, and Lutz comes in and starts throwing some shots to the head, falls into the guard of Gibson. Yeah, Gibson got popped. Gibson locks those legs around the waist of Lutz. A minute and five seconds on the clock here, and Gibson just, just kind of feeling the pressure of... Lutz right now. Lutz looks to take the back as Gibson turns around onto his knees. Yeah, because Gibson's just giving himself away. Strikes to Ooh, the head boy. by Lutz. Lutz is just unleashing rights to the side of the head there as Gibson. has got to be careful with those fingers in the cage. Take those fingers out of the cage, Gibson. Yeah, Lutz was just patiently just getting a little bit more comfortable as the round was progressing, and Gibson started slowing down. Lutz took advantage. Some knees to the thighs by Lutz as Gibson's just kneeled Shopping over Shopping during a pandemic. Copper Tom. I don't know why I picked four first round, one second round finishes for Cote KO and one sub. We have a GR8 night when we gonna see you smoke CBD again, Been oh, a while. Oh, We got to get that CBD popping again. Jesse hit it on me. Seven. I didn't hide it. I told you where it was. Now, eight seconds left on the clock, and Lutz is just dominating Gibson in the later part of this round. L Gibson stands up. Lutz kind of lets him free. Gibson walking back towards the center, and that's the end of the first round. Lutz got the first. Yeah. Definitely got the first. I concur. Gibson started off pretty good, and, and Lutz took over. Especially when he got down to the mat. That was it. It was the Lutz, it was the Lutz show. Gibson taking a deep gasp of air, putting the ice bag on him. See if he could bounce back. The underdog. What do you think of that first round? Uh, I the way that they were so hesitant with each other, I thought it was going to be more of a like, like a knockout type of thing. But uh, they were just too scared of each other. Scared? I think you know. Listen, this is a big stage for these boys. You know, this first appearance at the Contender Series. Got Dana White watching. There's a pandemic going on here. Then they got to show their best, Moss. And uh, no, I think Lutz is going to come out a little hotter. And uh, both fighters are probably going to come out a little hotter in the second. But um, I don't know if this goes the distance. What do you think? You think it's going to go the distance? Um. No, I'm going to say there's going to be a finish. Yeah, I think so too. I have a feeling it's gonna pick the pace is gonna pick up. Lutz knows what he's gotta do. Unless Gibson gets him. Here we go. It's a nice fistical sandwich. Second round has begun. Lutz versus Gibson. Klutz versus Gibson. By the way, <laughs> shout out to the to uh Carper and the people from the UK just staying up to hang with the holes. Thank you for hanging around. 
Lots of pressure, and Gibson on the outside comes in with a nice little combination. Gibson felt that one. Stands up straight, lets his guard down a little bit. Comes back to the center. Lutz Ooh. with another nice combination landing on the face. Yeah, he's, he's a pretty good striker, this guy, huh? Lutz is eight. A leg kick by Lutz. Gibson kind of circling around. Kick to the body by Gibson. Lutz comes in with another kick to the body, and Gibson's kind of egging him on a little bit now, but I don't... Don't really know why, since he's not really doing as much work. If you guys want to know where we're at in the fight, we got round two. We got the clock over there, so you could sync it up, or you could just know where we're at, as we are in Gibson Lutz, the first fight on the Contender Series. Gibson. Gibson still on the outside here. Lutz comes in with that left to the body. Oh, masticals. Oh, nice Ooh. head kick by Gibson, and Lutz comes in with the kick to the body in return. Lutz didn't even flinch. Yeah, it, he just stayed standing like it was like, it, it, like he never even got hit. Yeah, he didn't even flinch. Gibson right. attempted that Superman punch again. Lutz didn't flinch. Flin uh, Lutz is coming in with a nice combination again. Comes in with that shot to the body as well. He's really weird. Like he walks in like a robot, like a rock and sock and robot. <laughs> Lutz, he's like all stiff and weird, like. Three Pretty minutes quick. and 19 seconds left on the clock, and uh, Gibson found his way back to the center. Both of them threatening some strikes here, but not following through with them. A leg kick by, oof, a leg kick by uh, Gibson. Let's return, and Gibson, ni a nice right to the face. Let's tries to go in for that leg kick, no contact. Kick to the body, followed by a left by Lutz. Two minutes and 56 seconds on the clock. Ooh. Nice uppercut by Lutz, followed by a combination, and Gibson ate that one. Gibson on the outside towards the cage as Lutz comes in with a kick. Gibson catches it, comes in with a right to the face of Lutz. The tables have turned. Lutz is now on the outside. Nice right there by Lutz, and Gibson's head just whiplashed backwards. Another left oh, by landing. Lutz. They're landing nicely on each other. Whew. Gibson circling the outside now. Lutz comes charging in with that left. I noticed uh, Gibson keeps on looking up. Was that the clock or the screen? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's distracted. distracted. Nice uh, right there by Gibson. Maybe he's a topless girl on the rafters. <laughs> and left by Gibson. Both of them trading some good shots here. Oof. Body kick by Gibson after he exchanges a couple of strikes. There's a little damage shown under the left eye of Gibson, but um, nothing severe. Oh, Here we go. Lutz man. comes in with a nice one-two landing Gibson's on the hurt. face. More shots of the body by Lutz. Lutz comes in with more strikes to the head, and Gibson's eating him. Another Ooh. right. Jesus. Lutz is just landing right now on Gibson. Whew. Gibson starts circling around, trying to get out of the range there. Tries to come in with that left, no contact. Let's keep the pressure on him. Nice right, followed by a kick, and another right by Lutz. Lutz, with a good head movement, dodges out of the way of the uh, lefts by Gibson. Gibson's taunting him, though. It's kind of crazy. He's been eating a lot of shots here, and he's like, come on, let's keep it, let's keep it going. It's a good round. It was a great round. Let's keep in that pressure. Here we go. Kick to the body by Gibson. Gibson comes in with a nice jab, landing on the chin. A jab by... Lutz. Lutz comes in with some more combinations, but Gibson with the kick to the body again. Hey, oh, Ape Riot. What's going on, Ape Riot? Haven't seen you in a minute. A minute and 10 seconds left on the clock here. A leg kick by Gibson. Nice combination by Lutz landing on the face. Tight, firm strikes by Lutz over <laughs> and over again. Landing on the face of Gibson. <laughs> okay. Powerful, tight strikes. 55 seconds left on the clock, and Lutz is keeping the pressure on Gibson on the outside again. Gibson circling around, trying to play the distance a little bit. I like the aggression in Lutz. Yeah, Lutz comes in with a couple more shots to the face here. And Gibson's kind of ta like taunting him, bringing him in, saying, let's go. Yeah, that's nice the real Kevin the Lee, by the way, in the chat. By Lutz, and Gibson returns the kick to the body. That was a powerful right by Gibson. Whoa. Landing on the chin of Lutz, and Lutz he definitely felt that one. Lutz is now circling around a little bit, looking a little scared in the face. Yeah, that guy is a time. Oh. But Lutz is definitely landing more significant strikes as he drops another combination to the body and face of Gibson with 40 significant strikes and only 13 by Gibson. It's a great round. Great, great round. 12 seconds left on the clock, 10 second warning, and it looks like this fight's going to end on the feet once more. No, last round ended on the ground. On the knees. On the knees? On the knee. <laughs> on the Gibson knee, it ended. <laughs> What? <laughs> that was a good the, scrap. That on second the Gibson round. knee. Both fighters had their moments. I still got to give it to Lutz, even though Gibson cracked him a couple of nice, sh nice shots. I think Lutz got the the second two zip Lutz. Fucking Lutz. 
nook and futs. Are your allergies messed up? Um, no, nah, my eyes are dry. So maybe one one. Nah, I, I think I think Lutz got both of them. You think? What do you think? I'm gonna go um, Lutz two zip. Yeah, I, I think Lutz is up. I mean, I know I, I can't. I don't see how Gibson won either of those rounds. He had a couple of good moments though in the the beginning of the first and uh, in the middle of the second towards the end. But I still think Lutz did enough. No contracts is drunk. I I don't know. Lutz is pretty. He's pretty good, man. Let's see how this third round plays out. My back hurts. Let's see. Oh. Uh, come on, guys. Let's see a finish here. Like a guy that's aggressive and the way he strikes, he would be fun to watch in the UFC. All right. 26 years old. Third round has just begun. Lutz versus Gibson. <laughs> Gibson comes charging forward, being a little more aggressive in this round compared to the other two rounds as he's trying to control the cage here. Lutz with a couple of those leg kicks. Gibson not really backing up from him, though, as Lutz comes in with a nice one-two on the face of Gibson. Man, he is Lutz really Lutz just landed. cracking those jaw bones and cheekbones of Gibson with those rights. Gibson still eating it and coming in with a nice right of his own landing on the face of Lutz. Four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock and Gibson trying to put the pressure on Lutz now. Gibson <laughs> comes in with a kick to the body. Yeah, Mark, he does. He actually has the joystick on his ass. Oh Lutz my God, with a Lutz. nasty, nasty combination coming in there. You can see more damage on the face of Gibson's, but uh, I like the Gibson's way still throws. moving forward. Nice leg kick by Gibson. Lutz Oof. just eats it and keeps moving forward with that fucking, with that power behind his arms. You can see Gibson's left leg. It's all redded up. His face is all bleeding now. And he's like, come on, keep it going. Gibson, he's tough. Gibson trying to, oh, nasty whoa. right lands on the face of Lutz. And Lutz was pushed back by that one. Lutz is now on the outside <laughs> and Gibson. Gibson hunting now. Yeah, Gibson wants to play. Three minutes and 35 seconds oh. on the clock and both of them trade. Back to the center, body kick this by awesome. Gibson. Gibson with that that cut on the bridge of the nose there, but it looks like it's not really causing any concern. I tell you what, even if this fight goes to decision, I like it. So Gibson nice. trying to protect his head as Lutz is starting to show a little more pressure as he did in the last two rounds. Shot, uh, strike to the body by Lutz. Is that on the UFC website? Gibson with a good head movement, dodges out of the way of a couple of jabs. Three minutes left on the clock, and Lutz is still trying to move his way into the center as Gibson plays inside the range a little bit. Nice kick to the body by Lutz, followed by a left. Why doesn't the UFC... I'm sorry, by Gibson. Gibson... Why, oh, what? No, I'm saying, why doesn't the UFC put the fights on the website, man? Like, the stats and everything like I don't that. Think it they did it qualifies. last year. Lazy UFC. Lazy, lazy. Um, two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Uh, kick to the body by Gibson. Saw a lot of good exchanges here. The only thing, Lutz don't have the power to put this guy away. Right? I mean, he's been landing yeah. firm and fast and hard. And oh. There we go. Gibson looking to go for takedown, but instead pressures Lutz towards the cage, looking to hold inside the clinch. Hmm. And Lutz is stuffing that takedown attempt, but they're just kind of standing here now. Oh, man. Gibson might take uh, his contract. Here we go. Oh. Lutz so turns it around and pressures Gibson against the cage inside the clinch, dropping some shots to the ribs. Gibson slips his way out, but Lutz doesn't let him go. Lutz looking to trip Gibson, and Gibson gets the advantage here as he gets Lutz to the ground, but Lutz turns it around. Now Gibson on his knees. We're seeing the same thing we saw in the first round. I love what Lutz did to Gibson's arm. How he had the leverage and just kind of muscled his way through it. Yeah. Shows that he's got a little bit more experience Gibson here. holding on to the back here, dropping some nasty shots to the head as Lutz... Inches his way towards the cage, looking to use it for some leverage to stand up. The other way around. Yeah, Gibson. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, what I said, but re reverse, reverse the names. <laughs> Lutz is in control. <laughs> A minute and 20 seconds on the clock. And Lutz is just dropping those oh. rights to the head of G Gibson. And Gibson's just eating him. Oh, my God. Gibson kind of bucks his way out and tries to stand up. But Lutz just holding on to that back as tight as he can. You know he's going to try and lock those legs in the moment Gibson gives him any opportunity. I like this Lutz a lot. I really do. Even though it's probably going to go with decision, I just like his style. Here we go. 
Lutz is trying to turn it around and bring that leg over, but he can't, so he just drops some more shots to the head. Gibson turns around and sits on oh, his butt. Shit. Looking to take the back of Lutz. Oh, shit. Now Lutz is on one knee, and uh, Gibson oh, locks my away God. again, looking to lock both legs in, has the back of Lutz, and is looking to go for a choke what? here. What? And Gibson fight. I'm sorry, Lutz fighting off the hands of Gibson. Oh, man. Gibson pulling the face back on Lutz. Oh, my God. Imagine Gibson stretches out. Lutz out. Stretches him out. Gets the locks in around the waist. Whew, that is a tight lock by Gibson. Lutz is doing everything he can to fight those arms. But Gibson wrapping that right arm under the chin. Lutz trying to use the cage's leverage to perhaps kick his way up a little bit on the body of, Gib of Gibson. Whew. Now they're just laying here. And I tell Lutz you what. Is Gibson might have stole the contract. Like, uh... Oh, the chance of the contract here. That's the end of the round. Man. Like, Lutz won that fight, but the way Gibson turned it around at the end of the third, he might have taken the contract out of play here. Dana I don't White's going to be very. Get a contract. I mean, no, listen, Gibson's not going to get one. He's not, but uh, we're looking at Lutz. He, Neither will Lutz. He won this decision, and before that on the ground. At the end of the third round, I was like, I, I would give this guy a contract. And then all of a sudden, Gibson turns it up and tries to choke him out. Yeah, I think he just lost that contract. The one thing I got to say, though, is, I mean, I guess he's got, he doesn't have the power. I don't know. Or Gibson's chin is just that strong. He couldn't put him away. Ah, sorry, Lutz. Uh, let's see what the chat says. It looks like he, my man Lutz lost the contract. Uh, Justin Jr. says, that's embarrassing as I, minus 470, Sean Hart, well, well. Eddie Machete, boo, Dana, give me my money back. Alex Lovell, no contract unless Dana just returned from another. Wicked World, Lutz needs a KO or a sub for a contract. Lutz won, says CN, Wicked World, no contract. Henry Solstice, this, this new mask attack. Justin Jr., JBH, can you explain to me why you picked Lawler? Easiest pick of the card, Magni decision, told my viewers to lock it when he was a minus 225 plus hard value on Martin to win inside the distance plus 200, which I told people. I will explain it to you after the Contender Series, my friend. But let's get through these fights first. Henry Solstice says, good and smooth, and it looks like Tucker Lutz did take the, decision, or the unanimous decision win. You got it. 30-27, all three judges. Yeah, he got the win. My concern now is when you look. Now, here's the best part. I'll see if the broadcast team gets it right. Lutz is about to exit the cage. And listen, he won the decision. He dominated for the most part. The end of the third round got in a little bit of trouble. He's not getting the contract. If he goes over to Dana White and says, this is a giving season. You know, Dana White's been giving him out like candy. So here we go. So look, they put the loser not passing Dana White. They make the winner purposely pass Dana. Here we go. Lutz is walking. Let's see what he does. The fist bumps. He's looking him dead in the eye. He's saying something here. Dana's laughing now. All right. See, I like uh, that, man. I like that. He. It almost sounded. It almost seemed like he was demanding him to give him a contract. I don't know what he was saying. I. I we, we didn't hear. I got. A, I got a weird vibe from. But that he was exchange. looking at him, and he's like. <laughs> like, if you don't give me the fucking yeah, contract, I, I'm gonna that's stab what you in I got the face. Out of it. I like that though. <laughs> I like that. He might have talked his way into it. He could have said to Dana White, listen, I'll be ready next week. You know, that's what Dana wants to hear. He wants these guys to turn it around Yeah, he quickly. wants to put together fights. Like, hey, maybe that was my best performance, but next week uh -huh. I'm coming. I'll fight. I'll fight for you. I'll fight for my, I don't know. Who gives a <laughs> fuck, right? Who cares about this guy? <laughs> I'm trying to help this guy out. Oh, uh, God. I, you know what? He might have talked his way into it. Yeah. It, listen, was it the greatest fight ever? No, but it was fun. It was I, The second round was a lot of fun. I didn't hate the fight. Dana said, you owe me one. He said that? Wait. Wait, wait, are you joking or did he actually say that? Dana said, you owe me one. Wait, why would Dana say you owe me one? Did he really say that? We mute it, Ruben, because we don't want it to go back on stream. Yeah, we can't get copyright, bro. Uh, I will fight for your honor. Anthony Smith. Uh, let's see. Not joking. Wait, Dana said, you owe me one. So I guess maybe... I'll give you a contract, but you owe me. Oh, uh, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, maybe that's what it means. Shopping during a pandemic. For your bad performance. Maybe a blowjob? Hey, Moss. If I send another type of shirt, 
was that the right size or would you prefer a size down? Jessie's size was a no-brainer because she doesn't have I love pizza hips yet. <laughs> I love pizza hips. I, I haven't even, it's a really nice shirt. I haven't tried it on yet, though. It's uh, large is perfect. So um, Yeah, these are awesome. I was telling Moss, I was like, we should figure out where d got those. Where is d Hold on. All right, let me put it The on. quality is great. And I also roll my sleeves a lot, d but this one I don't have to roll my sleeves. Like, it's just like, it's the perfect cut. Everything was perfect about it. Even the design is really nice quality. I washed it and nothing got worn or like, um, you know, like sometimes designs get like, like cracked and stuff like that. This one was perfectly fine. I like, I like the quality a lot. I was telling Moss, we have to figure out where you got those shirts. Kevin Lee, did y'all like what I said about Kiesa's mom? I'm sure they did. Eddie Muchete, Kiesa, don't talk about my mom. Henry Solstice, a trick of boxing the cardio test on the floor in the new mask world. Vincent M., those triceps, though. Alex Lovell, wash them inside out. Yeah, that's what Moss told me, too. He said to wash them inside out once. I, I did it for a little bit, and then I stopped because I do the laundry in this house. And I get tired of putting everyone's clothes inside out, throw it in the laundry, and then when I have to fold them, I have to put everything right side in to fold the clothes again. So I just uh, <laughs> I started just throwing it in there. But I did for a little while, and it, it seems to... But it doesn't seem to change much, I guess. So I don't know. Um, have you considered putting subtitles after the fight? Subtitles after the... Oh, that's a good idea. But I don't know. Can you turn it on with ESPN Plus? That's a good idea, Ruben. Are you guys going to talk about Tony versus Dustin? We will tomorrow night. Um, TGIW. I guess we could, we'll probably touch into it today at some point um, between fights. But tomorrow for TGIW, we talk about all the news and stuff like that. So we'll probably end up talking about it. And uh, yeah. You hate making them right side in. Me too. <laughs> Every solstice says, need those perfects. Perfects. Kevin Lee. What y'all need? Oh. A commentating job? What's what, what, Moss? So, he's back, Jesse. It's a me. Gianni. It's a me, Gianni. <laughs> I'm back. I'm on the show again. It's a pizza pie. Here I am with Daniel Cormier and some other gringo. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm Gianni. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is Gianni guy is Does this is fit about. right? Yeah. Look oh, at look. This. It does fit good. Team Mystic. So, shout out to D-Rest. No, See, there we go. Good. I'm like, let me put this thing on. Do you like cool. the material? Um, oh, it's not. Is this washed yet? This one, no. This one's not. Oh, you got to wash it. It feels nice. I don't think it is. It's I like don't know. It's like nice and it just feels but, good. It's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. After a wash, I guess it softens up. This yeah. feels like a... It's like form-fitting. It's perfect. It feels like a sandpaper. But um, it looks <laughs> nice. And it fits good. Thank you, T-Rest. Appreciate it. It's a me, a Gianni. Gianni. Oh, it's a pizza pie. You know, I'm <laughs> on the contender series. Shopping during a pandemic. The waters of the lost sea crashed against the rocks. He could see that he may never know the secret of the Numi Numi. If only the cave of the shadows would shine light through the woods the red. He would look into the ocean for the answer and the echoes. Oh, this is... That's deep, man. I feel like this is a riddle, Moss. I the just waters of the lost sea crashed against the rocks. He could see that he may never know the secret of the Numi Numi. What does this mean, Moss? I don't care, but thank you. I appreciate that. It was very generous of you, Ben. Appreciate the donation. That's wonderful. 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 I, uh, I uh, listen. I'm focused right now. William Knight's about to fight. Okay, we were speaking. If you're just jumping in, our buddy William Knight, the Nightmare, is fighting Cody Brundage. This is happening. This is the second I'm time. Mr. William the Nightmare has been in the Contender Series cage. Now, the last, let me refresh your memory. The last time he was there, where's the fight? What's up, Sega? Moss, Sega saying hi to you in the chat. Sega, what up, Sega? Um, he fought a guy named Hardem. Hardem Alasabek. So this guy over here, this Hardem, was a, another big, scary guy. Looked like the UFC wanted this guy to win. He was beating William the whole fight. And then what happens? William takes him out in the third round dramatically. And Dana White had no choice but to give him a, a developmental deal. So now here he is. He rattles off a couple more fights, comes back in. He is now 7-1-0. and oh, The Nightmare gets another chance. 32 years old, so this is a big, big opportunity. For a light heavyweight, and he fights at heavyweight too, he's big, he's strong, but he's not super tall. He's got a 73-inch reach. 
but he's only five foot ten. So fighting these big guys, he's got to rely on his ground and poundage. When it comes to the feet, he does do kickboxing as well. He's very athletic, but um, I think it could be problematic when he fights these big, long guys. So he's fighting a big guy tonight. Let's see how it goes down. Oh, I'm so excited, Moss. I can't wait. <laughs> the nightmare, man. Whoa. Yeah, there is in CES. We've seen him fight CES multiple times. I have, like I said, we've grown as a channel with William Knight. Um, when he became champion in, in Premier FC, we just started over here. And here's from 2017 on our community section. We'll, draw, we'll show this up. He's so, huge. Yeah, now this kid that he's fighting is tough, man. But the only thing is, I, he might be a little too green. He's in great shape. He's got frosted tips. That's why I can't see, he's gonna see him winning, you know. But check this out over here. This is way back in 2017, Jesse. Memories. The Nightmare and the Mystical. There they are. The Premier FC champion. So let's see if you can get it done. Where's, Do where's my still Moss of me interviewing him? This is before Jesse. This, where, is, this is BJ. Where the heck is my still? This is just before Jesse. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. You couldn't. <laughs> Maybe you should have became. I interviewed him too, Moss. An MMA hole before. I was. Actually, yeah. You, uh, you interviewed him. At CES. Last year, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should pull that together. So let's hope uh, William Knight gets the job done. I mean, he's, he's got a tough one. He's got a really tough one over here. And it's Cody Brundage. They're I showing a lot of Brundage's wife over here. You know who she is, right? No. She's a former UFC fighter. Oh, is she? Yeah. Who is it? She's a can. Uh, what the hell's her name? I forgot her name, by the way. What the fuck's her name? Yeah, she's a uh, former uh, UFC fighter. They had like a story where they had a, she got knocked up before the wedding, but then had a miscarriage and this is like whole sob story thing. What was her name? Does anyone know? Anybody know who her, his wife is? What was his can wife's name? Brundage. His <laughs> <laughs> um. name is can wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got anybody who falls out. Oh, well, damn it, Jesse is pissed to say that's <clears throat> right. What the heck? What the heck? Mystic, you better Photoshop that with her face. On your body, Moss. Amanda Brundage, but what's her last name? Amanda Amanda Cooper. Cooper. There you go. Amanda Cooper. Yeah. All right, here we go. So Brundage is now huffing and puffing, sucking in the oxygen, getting ready. I got to stand up, Jess. You know what's going to have to happen here. We're going to have to go here. Now I'm going to be a little. I'm going to be a little nervous, boys. Oh, come on, William Knight. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be nervous. On. I might cry. Brundage trains with Anthony Smith, so now you know he's a can. Wonderful, wonderful. Right? I mean, Anthony Smith. If anyone you need advice from, it's not oh, Anthony Smith. Oh, stop it, Moss. This guy's got the frosted hair, for God's sakes. What are we doing? What do you think about William Knight's p picture over here? It looks like a, a villain in an Immortal Kombat game. It looks great. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Sometimes I like to kiss the microphone. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to stand up in my D-Rest tank top. Mystic. Team Mystic. All right. So Brundage has now entered the cage. He is swinging the arms around. William Knight was, was on social media 20 minutes before this thing. I hope he's taking this serious, for God's sakes. Brundage I don't a big know, dude. man. He's a big guy. This guy's huge. I, mean, I, I don't know, I know how William can't get down to like middleweight, man. But he's fought big guys. Like, yeah, he has. He's fought really he's fought big guys. Bigger than him. Yeah. Height-wise, at least. All right, here we go, baby. Yeah, he does look like a Paul brother. Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Stupid and face. Stupid face. Stupid Paul. Come on, people. Let's go. Uh, if you could put us on round number one, Jesse over here. I'm pumped up. William Knight has just entered the building right now as he is Ooh. strutting his stuff on the way in, looking confident as he marches up to the cage. The Nightmare is, what, 32 years of age? Oh, we'll get the tail of the tape in a second. Connecticut is where he is from, and he is ready to go. He had a little trouble making weight, but then hit it with the bonus hour. So everything's a go. He this, does look a little chubby. He is a little more chunkier than usual, right? Yeah, but... I mean, he's still jacked. I mean, look at the fucking size of his arms and his titties. Um, the one thing to take note, too, is Dana White put a promo video out and this was the fight he put the promo to so it looks like Dana's gonna have his eyes on this thing as we have ourselves a, a featured fight 
All right, they're checking the gloves of William Knight. Looks <gasps> like he's good to go. The Nightmare's back in the cage. The Octagon smiles as he goes in there. When this man wins, he usually does like flips and kneels down, does all that crazy shit. But here he is. He is trotting around the cage. See if he touches gloves to his opponent. He does. There we go. So some respect by both boys over here. Here we go, friends. MMA hole William Knight versus this Cody Brundage. He's, We're about to get going. He's 32, Sean Hart. Yeah, William Knight got into the game a little later, too. So he is 32 years old. This is pretty important. Second appearance in the Contender Series. Won the first one. And here we go, Jess. All right. 32 Knight, 26 Brundage, 5 foot 10 Knight, 6 foot Brundage, 206 pounds Knight, 205 pounds Brundage. Brundage with a 72 inch reach. Knight with a 1 inch reach advantage. At 73 inches, Moss. Yeah. A one inch reach advantage for Knight. He's got it. All right, let's get this clock going. Herb Dean is the ref. And Brundage is holding on to the cage. Get ready to go. He says he's ready. William Knight says he's ready. And round one has begun of Knight and Brundage. Lay kick starts up by William Knight. Brundage with the kick to the body. Whoa! Right off the bat. Brundage going for the takedown on Knight. Knight trying to grab the back of his head. Looking for a choke here. Let's see if he tries to tighten this thing up. Brundage is really going for this takedown. Does get it. Nightmare showing some power here as he's holding on. Brundage has that wrestling background and looking to utilize it early in this fight as he does land the takedown on Knight. Whew. Brundage with the side control on William Knight. William muscling Brundage off, but Brundage has the left arm locked up and it is stuck. Now Knight takes the arm out and Brundage looks for the back. Quickly gets the back of William Knight. The Nightmare in trouble once again. The Contender Series spread out on the mat. And Brundage dropping some serious right hands on the Nightmare. The Nightmare in trouble. He is, oh my god, he is eating some serious shots. He is spread out. He's looking up at Herb Dean. He's saying something to him. He seems to be okay, but in a lot of trouble. 4.05 in the first round. William Knight holding on to a Brundage that's just sitting on his back. Oh my god. What a bad spot for the Nightmare. As Knight is just kind of staying calm as Brundage has the hooks in on the back, sitting on the lower back, trying to loosen up the hands. Herb Dean's telling these guys to keep going, and Knight's just holding on to the hold, hands. Yeah, he's going to wait to stand up. He just wants to hold on to see if Herb lets these guys get up, and Herb is warning him to fight. William Knight's still holding on to the hands, not letting go. The Nightmare will not let go of these hands, and Brundage is trying to slip him out still. Still sitting on the lower back of the Knight. And how about this? Herb Dean is threatening to stand these guys up. Nightmare still holding on to the hands. Will not let smart. him go. That's I mean, smart. it's the only thing William Knight can do. Brundage now is trying to roll over to the other side. Get a little more comfortable on the back. Slip a hook in. And Nightmare looking to explode inside the guard. Brundage very strong. Holding him in place. William Knight slipping the legs out. Brundage looking for the back again. as Nightmare on his knees. William Knight getting back up, and holy shit, the Nightmare is up! A right hand by Brundage, looking for the takedown again against the fence. Wide legs, William, and a nasty elbow. Another one to the side of the head of Brundage. The Nightmare buckling Brundage with serious elbows. Poundage, ground and pound, as William Knight is going crazy. Brundage is out! Brundage is out! William Knight Whoa. for the win! The first round Let's finish! The Knight. Nightmare! Yeah! Woo. Yes! Yeah, baby! Let's go! Let's go! What? Hit me with the carnage, Jesse! William Knight gets the win! Yeah! Oh my god! What happened to the sound? Fuck the carnage, take it off! Holy shit! Holy shit! This guy! These elbows to the side of the head! Dude, he is scary, man! He is scary! Go crazy in the chat for the nightmare. Oh my god. Yo, you got the contract, motherfucker. You got the contract. Shut door in a pandemic. Yeah, I'll fix it. Don't worry. Holy shit. Come on, night we hold carnage alert. Wow. Holy shit. First round finish for William Knight. Yeah, baby. Oh my! The dude, the dude's an animal. Now his lower look at, look at his look at his muscles. He's a beast. <laughs> He's a beast. Yeah, baby. Oh hell yeah, man. Fucking nice dude too. William Knight's a great guy. Deserves this. What a moment. This is on Ooh. ESPN Plus. Link in the description. Brundage. A lot of people trains with uh, Smith. Anthony Smith. 
A lot of people are high on this kid, undefeated fighter. Welcome to the L column. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, baby. All right, I got to fix the carnage here. I'm out of breath. Fucking lost my mind there. Dude, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. I'm so proud of this dude. All right, hold on a second. Let's fix this thing. What's going on here? The carnage. The carnage. Propose to the carnage. Enjoy pancakes with the car. All right, well, that's fine. Holy shit. What a win. What a win. We've seen so many times with William Knight where in the beginning of the fight, his opponent gets the advantage and then he just muscles his way through and gets the win. We've, ha we've seen this happen so many times. First round, William, let's see what he does as he p passes Dana White. Oh, please talk to Dana White, please. Fist bumping him. Doesn't say much. He doesn't have to. He don't have to say His shit. His show was, was enough. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yes. Shopping door. Woo! What a win. That was great. The sun streamed through the Venetian blinds. He wondered if he should take another swig out of the bottle of rare 50-year-old scotch. He paused and thought, freaky, I'll never be a UFC fighter. I'll watch the MMA holes and root for the nightmare after. Wow. There you go, D-Rest. Who is this guy? I don't know. I, I like the story a lot. Whoo, man. I'm fired up, man. They're showing the highlights of that win. Oh, that's great. So cool, man, because like I said, the, the way the show started out, he was one of the first guys we had on the show. Super nice guy. Those he elbows just, did it. Those oh, elbows. He's got retard strength. his brain. Oh, my God. I could watch this fight over and over again. God damn. Here we go. Let's, I want to hear this. Where's the uh, remote? Let's see. Let's listen to what the nightmare's got. He's very soft-spoken, too. It's hysterical. He's like, hey, guys. <clears throat> What's happening here? He had his mouth guarded when he was talking. <laughs> the guy. They just, it's like they just put the mouth guard in. He, he barely got any fight in. Oh shit, when he When he hit the canvas, his head hit the canvas. <sighs> yeah, so because of that stand up. He said he was huffing and puffing when he was trying to get, you know, finish the job. Wow. What a win, man. He kind of sounds like Tyson. <laughs> yeah, he's got that like whiny. Uh... Oh, those elbows. They're showing those elbows again. Smashed them. <sighs> oh, my God. Those elbows. It's like he's cracking his head open like a fucking coconut. I hope this guy has a good career in the UFC. Listen, he's 32 years old. This was his shot. He had to get it. And here he is. Now we have a new light heavyweight in the UFC. Oh, man. You think William's going to make some noise? Oh, yeah. Are you ready to be in the UFC? He says he's ready. If you follow him on social media, too, he's very controversial with a lot of the shit he says, but he's the sweetest guy you ever meet. All right, good for William, man. Proud of him. He was born in the same hospital as Dana White. <laughs> That's cool. Like, what do fighters do with a guy like William Knight? I mean, if you have that long ass reach, actually, this guy didn't have a reach on Knight. Knight had a bigger reach. He had one inch reach. It wasn't that much. <laughs> I missed what he said. I wanted to see what he said at the end. That was cool. Yeah, so William Knight gets the job done. This guy's going to get a contract. Ruben came up with a good sure. idea. He said, well, he thought about putting the subtitles <coughs> on instead of having to constantly f 
fuss with the volume. Yeah. Put yeah, the we should do that. On. But I don't know what you have to do on YouTube. You can do it right there. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you just do it? No, I was asking if that's what you wanted before, uh, before yeah. I do it. Why not? Um. So William Knight gets the job done. Wow, man. Holy shit. All right, chat. What do you think of the nightmare before we get into the next fight? My my heart is pumping right now. I'm pumped up, man. All right. So uh, so the, some of the sounds weren't working on you. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Ah, uh, super chat. Brandon Morse. This guy weighs two hundred five. He looks like a short Lesnar. Yeah, he's, he's fought at heavyweight too. Yeah, he he's he a, is short, but he's, he's five. He, they say he's five ten. He's not, because I'm taller than him. And I'm 5'9". So Are you he, taller than him? Yeah. This guy's not 5'10". I'm telling you. Are you sure? Anytime, anytime. Wait, I, pull up that picture. Anytime I've been next to him. Oh, you are taller than him. I'm telling you. If anything, he's the same height as me. Nah, he's like an inch shorter. Yeah, but I got hair on top. I got the hair going up, you know? Shopping door. Gives me a little extra. Hammock. D-rest. I hope you all realize that an MMA hole is not in the UFC. Big time, my holes. Big time. I uh, realize that an MMA hole is in not is not in the UFC big time. My hole's big time. An MMA hole is in the UFC now. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. We got a bunch of MMA, if you think about it. But, I mean, this guy, you know, like, the closest we were going to get was Justin. Like, I like the fact that we've befriended people before the UFC, and then all of a sudden, boom, we get to watch them blossom. We've been to, I think I missed, like, one William Knight fight. Uh, we've been in tennis for, like, all his freaking fights in the, in yeah. the CES and... Premier FC, so um, it's cool to see uh, William get the job done. All right, so there he is, William Knight getting the job done here. Now the question: Imagine Dana White's like, "Nah, he's not gonna <laughs> do that. <laughs> no contract. You finished him the first round, but you got taken down, man. You know." So, yeah, it's how he came back. No, nah, how I'm he joking. handled it. Oh man, I don't even. I, I just want to turn the stream off now. I mean, our boy won. <laughs> All right, guys, reaction's over. Now I got to look at this. <laughs> dude, I lo almost lost my voice screaming like a fucking. It was like I was at a BTS concert. I was like a schoolgirl. Dude, I freaking. I love this shit, man. You know, like the fact that when you know someone that gets the the job done, it's it's fucking exciting, man. And and here's the thing, he's with us. He's on our team over here. You know, the MMA holes got one in. We slipped one in. So th that's a good job. We all win tonight. We're all winners. The nightmare. Now we gotta send him a shirt that fits. Still no God. God, yeah, I don't know. I don't know when the hell he's fighting. He it was supposed to be this year. <clears throat> so, man, oh man, that is awesome. We'll we'll drag him on the show, get him back on. Man, that's fucking cool. All right, so there you go. So we got Jose Johnson versus Ronnie Lawrence. Ronnie Lawrence looking like uh, he looks like that meme. You ever see that meme that goes out there of um. Like that drawn out, uh, I, I can't remember who it was, but he looks like a face of a meme. Ronnie Lawrence, the Heat, is 5-1-0, two-fight win streak, and this guy, Jose Johnson, on even more. Moderate favorite at a minus 340, 11-5-0, and it says five wins Shopping over here. during a pandemic. D-Rest. I meant now, in the UFC, that was a terrible typo blunder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we kind of get it. Kind of get what you're saying. Thank you, D-Rest. Appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, for donating. Really appreciate it. That's very kind. You're a wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, yeah, we got one of ours. We got one of ours in tonight. That's good stuff. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five fight win streak. He's on. A lot of finishes. Ooh, boy. Oh, this guy likes to finish. Here's the reason why he's a favorite. Woo. Man, that was fiery, man. I'm, my, my, my heart's pumping, man. I'm fired up. How how are we gonna how are we gonna bounce back now, Jesse, in the third fight? Uh, how do we top that last reaction? <laughs> I mean, you, you have no choice but to bounce back. You can't you can't just well you could favor it just to fight. It's like I just blew a load. I just feel like oh I don't let me I just need a cigarette and go to bed. You know. Oh, uh, I think I think your reaction was good. Maybe a little over the top, but it was good. See now that is just me being me. Like that's why this channel started. I have I completely blacked out. I feel like I just got white boy wasted and just got like really drunk and forgot what happened. I gotta watch that back and see how autistic I was. I completely lost. You ever have that where you just lose yeah, your mind? Yeah, with Adesanya, I did. Oh my god, man! Yeah, it's so that. fucking cool. So cool. All right. Anyway, let's 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 stop. Let's let's move. We gotta focus. Jess. 
Jose Johnson and Ronnie Lawrence. Shep Doc says, let's fucking go. Matt Stone, hit the like hit the like button. Legal Tender says, Da Ung Jung would murder his bum. Not impressive at all. 5G Tower, lick toilet. Flat Earth Deacon, <laughs> be sick if he wore that MMA whole tee. Uh, Justin Jr. had that with Shayna. Biggest upset in the UFC ever. Uh, flat or, or sorry, Ru- Ruben Rivera says that reaction needs to be in Fight Buddies intro. Yeah, I, I completely lost my shit. I don't. That like, I we need more fights like that, man. Yeah. I don't know. I, I miss that. I miss like just completely losing my shit. Justin Jr. wants to know if we'll be interviewing William Knight after his first round KO. Yes. Oh, we're gonna we, drag him back on. Yeah, we wanted to get him on him. before, but he's like he wanted to be like laser focused, and now I understand why he he had a tough time making the weight. So now he may wait. Everything's good. We're dragging him back on for sure. He's been on the show like five times. Actually, might might have more. We even did a show live at Premiere where he was like co-hosting. We had him on. So, um, yeah, he's he's a good dude. He really is a good guy. And follow him on social media. I mean, he triggers a lot of people on social. I'm sure it's it's only going to get worse now. But shout out to Connecticut, one of Connecticut's boys. Someone said who you got in the, uh, the main event. And I know more about Dennis. Dennis is from Law MMA, and um, you so, got to go with the the New York guy. Mike. Yeah, so we're we're leaning. If you go to Ray's, um, is Ray Longo on here? Hold on, let me show this before the next fight gets going. <clears throat> but if you go to Ray's uh, Instagram over here, check this out. Okay, good old Ray with the locks. Oh, gang, we got a special one today. I'm here with Dennis Bazooka's beautiful mother. Arta, and she's got something to say to you, Dennis, for your big night. Hi, Dennis. I just want to say that we love you so much. We are here to support you. Ray's looking to smash. Look at him. He's like, I'm going to smash your mom. Do you you see my hair? Dennis, you better win or I fuck your mom. Me, Diana and Gabriel, and all those people that loves you, your wonderful coach, and all those team team members and i believe in you i just want to say that you're there to win and to win big you're not there just to fight you're there to win we believe in you and we love you and we support you how do you not love this beautiful lady let's get it going come on gang here they come law mma oh we got the albanian flag There they go. Oh, so they got a whole party going for Dennis on the, on the main event. Um, Law MMA, <laughs> getting the job done. Yeah. That was funny. Now when I see that video and I see him smiling. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I'm about to fuck your mom. All right, oh, all right. God. All right, Jesse, take us away here. We got a, a stud here yep. in Jose Johnson, but Ronnie Lawrence is in the cage. This is the third fight in a contender series, and I'm trying to shake it off that last fight. That was crazy. When you drink... There are coffee out of these cups. Do you get like a metallic taste? No. Like eventually your coffee has like a metallic. You know like those batteries that if you stick your tongue on it, it shocks you. You know those batteries? <laughs> the ones. Is that what's happening? It's like that feeling. Yeah, and that's not happening to me. Like a metallic. It's hot. It keeps. Oh, you know what it is? It keeps the coffee so hot that you might have burnt your tongue. No, no, no. It's not hot. It's just like a metallic. Like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've been drinking out of these your tongue? No? Me? Okay. But that's because I grew up with lead paint. Yeah. So it doesn't bother me. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's fix this picture. Uh, all right. They're showing the highlights right now for Jose. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Moss, by the way, change your um, topology over. You got the wrong topology on. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm on the... Uh, main nine event. volts. Yes, sun green. You know what I'm talking about. You know the nine volt batteries that have the two little um, circuits on the top, Moss, and you stick them on your, yeah, Jesse, your tongue? Yeah, Jesse, the battery liquor. But do you know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever done it? Mm-hmm. You've done it? Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah, you just like, and it like, like shocks your tongue. Okay. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Like when the coffee first hits your mouth, it feels like a nine volt battery on your tongue. Because it's hot. It's no, super it's not hot. hot. I I open my. It's not hot. All right, so that's that's it's what just, it's, it's okay. Just like, an electric shock. <laughs> so what do you want me to do now? <laughs> I'm asking the, if you're getting the same thing. I, I no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm. It's hot, so it tastes hot. All uh, right. Anyway, this kid. Oh, man, I'm going all day with uh, Jose. Jose's taking his time around the cage. This guy's going to be a problem. How tall is this guy? 80 amateur fights. Six foot versus five, eight, 25. Yeah, this kid's going to fucking he's going to he's going to murk him. <laughs> no, Alex, there's no alcohol in my coffee. It's just never mind. All right. 
Johnson, 25, 28, Lawrence, 6 foot Johnson, 5 foot 8, Lawrence, 135 pounds Johnson, 135.5 pounds Lawrence, a 68.5 inch reach for Lawrence with a 4 inch reach advantage, 72.5 inches for Jose Johnson. Okay, who gets the wind shot? During a pandemic. Carper! I predict we will see three contracts given out tonight by Dana as he's been very generous at late Fook of Friday will be the next stream after tonight I'll be watching and this sprained wrist is a bugger but just got to stay strong Evan through the pain. Feel better with that wrist man, Ho hopefully it heals up quickly. So these two have come and swinging. Johnson in the gray trunks, Lawrence in the blue. Lawrence a little more animated around the outside here as Johnson comes in with that leg kick. Johnson with the right, lands on the chin of Lawrence and holds on to each other. Lawrence looking to trip Johnson to the ground, and he gets it. Johnson on the back. Lawrence in half guard. Oh, butterfly. Butterfly, just kidding. And Johnson dropping the elbows from the bottom, trying to do some work here. Lawrence just manhandling Johnson, but Johnson is a squirmy little fucker. Lawrence is in like a half butterfly. Here we go. Falls into the guard of... Johnson, Johnson looking to flip his body over. And Lawrence stands over him now. Johnson on his back looking to kick upwards at Lawrence. Holding on to the ankle of Lawrence. This dude with his blonde hair looks like Beetlejuice from the Howard Stern Show. Mm. Remember when Beetlejuice dyed his hair blonde? <laughs> he looks just like <laughs> Lawrence is looking to hey. grab those legs. Ooh, a kick in the face by Johnson. And he stands Ooh. up and Lawrence with a knee to the head. As Johnson Chopping holds him in his guillotine choke. Two nasty knees to the face. Herb Dean rushing a stand-up when the dude has night back mounted and flattened out. Then he smashes the back of his head with elbows and hammer fists. Herb Dean also allowed Alexia Laini to get the back of his head smashed by Lewis. Oh my God. Trash referee. Um, Kevin, did you not hear that William Knight said that he was huffing and puffing? So after the ground and pound, the dude blew his, he blew his load. So when William Knight was holding onto his hands, the dude wasn't doing anything. And then what happened? William Knight bursted out of it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Kevin's just racist. Don't even waste your time. Kevin, listen. William Knight's a wrestler. Get on the train and shut the fuck up. Thank you for the donation. Lawrence holding Johnson in half guard now flips over to the other side. Johnson is really squirmy on the ground, though, as Lawrence is inside the guard of Johnson. Lawrence dropping some shots at the ribs and the, and the face. And Johnson just kind of inching his way across the mat. Johnson locks his legs around the body of Lawrence as he tries to do some work here from the bottom, and Lawrence still inside the guard. Here we go. Johnson tries to bring his legs up towards the shoulders. No luck, though, as Lawrence moves into the side control position. Johnson flips over onto his knees. Lawrence holding onto the neck. Oh, Oof. shit. Flips Johnson over. Johnson on his knees. Now they're both standing on their feet, and Lawrence is pressuring Johnson against the cage as he holds onto that neck in a uh, guillotine choke. And here we go. Lawrence... Grabbing onto the leg now, looking at... Oh, nice head movement by Johnson. Ducking under that left by Lawrence. I tell you what, Lawrence is doing a good job at making Lawrence, this thing a grinder. Yeah, Lawrence drags Johnson down to his knees on the mat and looks to take the back here. Johnson looking to slip him off, but no luck as... Whew, oh, Lawrence shit. gets dumped off by Johnson, a right by Johnson. Now Johnson is in control of the situation as Lawrence is lying on the mat. And Johnson lets him stand up. Hmm. Both of them on their feet now. Lawrence circling around. Spinning kick by Lawrence. Hits the nuts, but jo Johnson says he's okay. Nice leg, leg kick. Leg kick by Lawrence. Nice right by Johnson. Lawrence is really dominating this Ooh, round here as he comes in with another those. leg kick. A minute and 30 seconds left on the clock, and Johnson ca catches a kick by Lawrence. Comes in with that right. The elbow. Did you see that? He grabbed him like this, and pa boom, one hand. Hold, Lawrence, grabbed him and fucking sliced in Lawrence the elbow. Lawrence with the spinning kick to the body. That was Johnson. Crazy, man. Lawrence is looking to pressure Johnson now, but Johnson keeping the control as he comes in with a couple of shots to the face. A leg kick by Lawrence. <sighs> yeah, check those, man. Johnson. Another leg kick. Johnson's leg's going to fall off if he doesn't check, start checking these things. A minute and two seconds left on the clock, and Lawrence tries to come upstairs with a head kick, but Johnson steps out of the way. Another head kick attempt by Lawrence. Johnson blocks it. Oof, nice uppercut there by Lawrence. Lands on the face of Johnson. Yeah, Couple Johnson's jabs. cheek opened up. And Beauty. Lawrence gets the single leg. Now Lawrence inside the butterfly guard of Johnson, looking to switch over into the side control position, but no luck, so he falls inside the guard. Johnson dropping some elbows from the bottom here, trying to do some work as his legs are locked around the body of Lawrence. Lawrence with an elbow from the top. 30 seconds on the clock here. And Lawrence is dropping some shots to the head, to the body. 
Johnson looking to do as much work as he can from the bottom, but Lawrence is just dominating right now. Johnson kicks him off as Lawrence stands up, and now they're both getting up onto their feet, oh. and Lawrence looks to go for the guillotine, but slips off. Now Lawrence on his back on the mat, and Johnson is tangled up in the legs. Lawrence Ooh. switches positions here and grabs Johnson by the back, pressuring up against the cage. Wow, man. Yo, Lawrence is relentless. And that's the end of the first round. He is relentless. That was really good, huh? That was a really good first round. Lawrence was just working on the grappling. Lawrence's face is busted open a little bit, though. But, but yeah, Johnson's got some slick striking. He grabbed him. He grabbed his head like this, so he kind of, like, like muffed him, and then went, boom, one hit, boom, like pulled it in, hit him with the elbow. It's nasty. Would you like to do that to somebody, Jesse? Just like grab Ew. a stranger and just go like this. <laughs> Why do you keep grabbing my head like, like that? Like that, man. I'm gonna fucking do that to you, Jesse. I don't, if you don't fucking make, care. If my you dinner's stop? cold, I'm just gonna go. Stop uh. grabbing my head like this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, just want to elbow you in the head. Who do you think got the first? Lawrence. Lawrence first round. Yeah. Lawrence first round. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with it. Chad, what do you say? Who got the first round? Alex Level says, Oh, that was embarrassing. Troll Mod says, Justin Jr., Real Gamer 109 Lawrence. I don't think those legs matter, says Henry Solstice. Here we go. Second round has just begun. Another leg kick by Lawrence, chopping at those legs once again. Leg kick again by Lawrence. Johnson looks like he's slowing down a little bit here, then a little more. Lawrence looking to pressure Johnson on the outside. 20 seconds into the second round. Whew. Nice knee. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. And a nice head movement by Johnson as he ducks under that right by Lawrence. Lawrence trying to be a little more pristine here because he does have that damage on the face. The uppercut slipping in by uh, Johnson there. I mean Lawrence, excuse nice me. Nice spinning kick by Lawrence. Looks to go for the d single leg takedown again and gets... Johnson to the ground. Now Lawrence hovering over Johnson. Johnson turning over to his side as Lawrence looks to mount, but he just can't get those legs. There we oh, go. Lawrence man. mounts Johnson. This guy's relentless. Four minutes left on the clock, and Johnson is kicking Lawrence off. Lawrence falls oh. into the guard once again, both of them trying to do work from their opposite positions here. Nice striking from the top by Lawrence. Johnson looking, oof, elbow by Johnson from the bottom. And Johnson's doing a great job squirming around and keeping Lawrence on he, his toes. He's always finding a way to pull him back into guard. Yeah. Some shots to the head by Johnson on the bottom. And Lawrence is trying to return that striking from the top. Johnson locks his legs around the body of Lawrence. Lawrence comes in with some rights to the head that Johnson is looking to block. Johnson holding onto the legs of Lawrence. Lawrence slips out again. He's got him in the middle of the octagon. He's right smack in the middle. No cage to help him. So I'm curious if Johnson's going to be able to kick him off or is Lawrence just going to hold him there for the rest of the three minutes? Lawrence still inside the guard. And they're just kind of laying on each other right now. Yeah. Oh, man. Lawrence still looking to do some work here from the top. Johnson just kind of squirming around trying to find another advantage, but no luck so far. <laughs> More shots of the ribs and the head by Lawrence. Elbows by Lawrence. An elbow by Johnson, though, Ooh. on the bottom. Nice hammer fist as well. Shopping Lawrence stands up over Johnson. Oh, Jack Johnson Chrome. tries to stand up, and Lawrence goes after him. I have a feeling Lawrence is going to get knocked out. He's going to get tired going for all those takedowns. Well, I mean... It's possible. I mean, Johnson's but, looking pretty tired. But Johnson, yeah, he's kind of huffing and puffing. Oh! Nice ride by Johnson. Maybe. Lands on the chin of Lawrence. Lawrence catches a kick by Johnson, and both of them hold on to one another in the center. Johnson tries to charge forward, and Lawrence uh, grabs the legs, looking to go for the takedown, but instead pressures him in the clinch. Johnson with the elbows to the head, and Lawrence going for the single leg. No luck, so he pressures Johnson in the, uh, against the cage here. Both I'll of them. What, yeah, you know what? It looks like Lawrence is getting tired, though, because Johnson's now stuffing the takedowns. Keeping it on the feet. Let's see. Oh, there goes that. John's, or Lawrence drags Johnson down to the ground in side control now. So much for him getting tired. Johnson lying on his back, his feet up to the cage. More like Johnson's getting tired now. This guy's relentless, Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence is just laying on top of him right now. Johnson tries to kind of buck off a little bit. And there he goes. He kind Whoa. of slips out, takes the back of Lawrence as they both stand up to their feet. 
Lawrence is looking to take Johnson down, it looks like. Johnson taking Lawrence. I'm sorry, John Johnson taking Lawrence down. I don't know why I keep flipping everyone's names tonight. Yeah, it's, it's contagious. A minute and 23 seconds on the clock, and Lawrence with that kick to the leg. This is a weird fight, man. There is some damage under the right eye of Lawrence. I wonder if that's going to pose a problem if Johnson can keep striking like that. But here oh. we go. Lawrence trips Johnson down to the ground once more. I'll tell you what. That takedown looks like it hurt. I don't mind seeing them, this fight on the ground because it's actually it's constantly moving. It's, yeah, it's not a bad fight. Side control by Lawrence, and Johnson is getting pretty tired here, though. He's not squirming around as much as he usually that does on the ground. That one looked like it hurt Johnson. When he went down, it looked like his head hit the mat, too. Here we go. Johnson spins himself over onto his knees and, wow, forces Back Lawrence up. onto his butt. Johnson in, in like, a, a weird butterfly, half butterfly guard here, and Lawrence on his back. It's fucking Johnson doesn't, doesn't give up either. Nice shots there to the face by Johnson from the top. Lawrence is looking to bring those legs over into the rubber and oh. tries to go for the arm and no luck though. No, oh, maybe, maybe, uh, uh, maybe. No, Johnson, he <laughs> John, knows. Johnson looks exhausted, man. Johnson's just trying to keep that pressure on Lawrence for the remainder of this oh, shit. round. Lawrence is kicking up towards, oh, nasty right from the bottom by Lawrence and both of them exchanging some nasty <laughs> strikes to each other. This is crazy, man. And Lawrence is looking to bring those legs over again to go uh, for that arm. Here we go. Oh, it's trouble. Here we go. Going for the arm, oh, too. Beautiful. One second left, and that's the end of the second round, and Johnson just escaped. I tell you what, though. Johnson's got awareness on the ground. Like, when his arm got caught, he spun around to the other side. He's quick. He's dodgy, man. He's slipping out of positions. So it's not like he, he doesn't know anything about the ground. He gets out of everything. But Beetlejuice in trouble, though. I, I, I don't know, man. Who won that second round? Who the hell got that I'm going to go Lawrence. I don't know who the hell got that round. It was just all over the place. I mean, yeah, with the takedowns, I guess it would be it would favor Lawrence. I'm gonna go Lawrence. What a weird fucking fight. It's just bizarre. This fight's it's a head scratcher. 2017, 1919, earned that contract. Law, no way DS. Yeah, no, it's not a split. This is Lawrence two zip. I don't know. I have no idea. I think Lawrence is up to zip, but I mean, you got Adelaide Bird there. I don't, I don't even know. I kind of like fights where I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. No. All I know is it's fun to watch. Lawrence definitely dominated him. All right, let's see. I'm, I'm thinking Johnson's going to come out fucking yeah. like a bat out of hell in this round, though. Here we go. Third round has just begun. Oh, spinning kick to the head by Lawrence to start off the third round. Hardly phased Johnson, though. Still standing, still moving forward. Another spinning oh, kick to the body by Lawrence. And Johnson's starting to feel it a little bit. Leg kick by Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence not making this easy. Johnson's got to get something going here. Lawrence was threatening that oblique kick there, but didn't pull through. Nice head kick by Johnson. Barely grazes the face of Lawrence, and Lawrence holds on to Johnson once again. Look at the pressure him against the cage. Goes for the double leg, and Lawrence stopping it so far. Johnson oh, he's cranking the arm. To the ground. Oh shit! Come Johnson on. is cranking the arm, but Lawrence up. flipped out. Johnson on his butt now <laughs> as Lawrence goes for those legs. An elbow by Johnson on the oh, temple. Man. Johnson's of huffing Lawrence. and puffing with that back against the cage. Yeah, Johnson just sitting there right now as Lawrence tries to dominate the position on the ground. Now and Lawrence is giving him a chance to to yeah. regroup too. It's Lawrence is just kind of standing like heeled over. Over Johnson, holding onto those legs as Johnson just sits back towards the cage. He's trying to sniff that crotch. What do you think about uh, Tyron Woodley training with uh, Masvidal? You think about that? I don't care. You don't care? Here we go. Lawrence falling inside the guard of Johnson, and Johnson lo locks his legs around the body. It looks like Johnson's going to try and use that cage to perhaps kind of kick himself off a little bit. No, nope, I was wrong. It got turned around by Lawrence, and... Lawrence is just doing some damage. Here we go. Here we, here's where he kicks off Johnson. Now Johnson on his knees, face to the mat, and Lawrence looking to take the back here. Three minutes and 18 seconds on the clock. Lawrence flips over onto the back of Johnson. All he's got to do is lock those legs in as he holds on to the arms of Johnson. And I can't really see. Here we go. He's got one leg locked in. He's just got to get that left leg locked in. And Johnson is just face down on the mat right now as Lawrence is just mauling him, doing work. You can tell Johnson has slowed down tremendously here. Johnson tries to stand up. The back didn't work. So Lawrence, with six minutes and five seconds of control time, the ref warning him, saying, come on, you got to do something, Johnson. 
And Lawrence is just hugging him against the cage here. Lawrence looks to go and drag Johnson to the ground once more. Lawrence inside the guard of Johnson. Scooting his way up as Johnson locks the legs around the body of Lawrence. Two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. And Johnson is just kind of laying on him, catching his breath as he gets ready to drop that elbow blocked by Johnson. Lawrence holds on to the back of the head of Johnson as he tries to keep that pressure. And Johnson trying to push Lawrence off a little bit. Another nasty left by Lawrence. Johnson tried to bring his legs up, but he didn't have enough energy to go all the way through with that. Johnson doing some work from the top, but Lawrence, or I'm sorry, Lawrence doing work from the top, but Johnson trying to drop those elbows from the bottom. We can't show the fight. Link in the description. It's on ESPN+. Plus. we got a link down below in the description over there and uh, get the perks through the MMA holes. Two Watch all the fights. left on the clock, and John, uh, Lawrence flips himself over into half guard position, and good work by Lawrence keeping that control on the ground, knowing Johnson is completely exhausted and immobile right now. Johnson trying to drop some shots to the ribs here from the bottom, but his arm is just locked above his head by Lawrence. Lawrence looking to go for a choke, perhaps, but jo Johnson slips that arm down. Good job by Johnson. Lawrence flips over. Looks like he's going to try and get himself into a side control position. He's still in half guard. Oh, flipped and jumps over into the mount. Whoa, good job by Lawrence mounting Johnson. And now he's in half guard on the other side. And Johnson, with the squirminess again, it's coming back in the later part of this round, looking to kick Lawrence off. But Lawrence is just too much pressure for him right now. Lawrence finds himself back inside the guard of Johnson, dropping some more shots from the top. This is literally a game of twirling around on the mat. Yeah, Lawrence, I mean, uh, Johnson's, excuse me, Lawrence got to get a finish here if he wants a contract. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Lawrence, is he's got some great ground control, but... Shopping door. I agree. We're going to have to it. You got to finish this dude, man. Is this a fight or a wrestling match? It's I think a Lawrence match. thinks he is at the Olympic wrestling trials, not the youth. Here we go. Lawrence is starting to drop some bombs here. Spins over into side control, but <laughs> falls into a half butterfly by Johnson as Johnson uses those legs for defense. Now Lawrence flips I mean, over into a half guard position and just hugs Johnson on the mat for the last 25 seconds here. The control time is through the roof. You got to get here the finish, go. though. You got it for that contract. Lawrence flips over to side control, drops a right to the face of Johnson. Johnson completely tuckered out. Just not willing to put on any more of a show here. Only 10 seconds left on the clock. And Lawrence pins the left arm of Johnson under his leg. And Johnson slips it out. Lawrence looking to drop some more shots to the head here with the last second. And that's the end of the third round. Nobody's getting a contract in this fight. Sorry, guys. It's I mean, a good fight. It, it Dana White's standing and clapping. You know, I, he... It was Dana, very dominant. Yeah, he did dominate. For sure. And he had relentless energy. He's spinning around here. Uh, Ronnie Lawrence, he might just give it to him because, uh, you know, another bantamweight. What weight class is this, bantamweight? Yeah. <laughs> Throw into the mix. He's been very generous with his contracts. He might give it to him, but I, I think, you know, I don't know, man. What? Oh, why did I see that? I just saw like, this guy's full ass crack, like full blown what? ass crack. I think I'm going to vomit all <laughs> over myself. Did you see that? What the fuck was that? I didn't know it was porn <laughs> on. Did you see that? Oh, oh I want to fucking puke. That was a funny reaction. Full blown, like right in the asshole. Like, pull your pants up, dude. What are you doing? Who's that, Cornerman? Like, why did I have to see that guy's brown eye? Jesus Christ. But it was pretty dominant. Ronnie Lawrence is, you know, definitely going to get the decision. Dana White, he says, fucking great fight. I was reading his lips. You're a good lip reader, Mom. Yeah. Shopping during a pandemic. Chrome. We all just watched 15 minutes of gay porn. <laughs> gay lord. So you're saying no contract, I'm assuming. <laughs> King of the Dead says, tell me I just didn't see that. <laughs> Did you guys, who saw it? Hit me with the ones in the chat if you saw the brown eye. Oh, oh my goodness. Why did I have to see that? He did wink, yeah. It was like... 30-27 is all the way. Unanimous decision. All right, so we are three fights in. If you want an update on what's going on here, and thank you for joining us, make sure you slap the like button. If you don't, you're a gay lord. Gay lord. Uh, you uh, get the replay over here. F boom like that. We got Tucker Lutz gets the unanimous decision over Chase Gibson. William Knight, our buddy, flips the script, gets it done. The ground and poundage stops Cody Brundage in the first round. Give that man a contract. Ronnie Lawrence. 
gets the unanimous decision in the fight that we just witnessed over Jose Johnson. A lot of crotch sniffing, but pretty dominating. And we're going into Jimmy Flick versus Nate Smith. Hi, I'm Nate Smith. Ha, Jesse. Ha, ha. Ha, Jesse. I'm <laughs> Nate Smith. <laughs> ha, ha, Jesse. I'm Nate Smith. Ha. Oh. Nate Smith. I forgot what I was going to say. What were we going to say? I had something that popped up in my head and then I was like, oh, ha, what were we going to say? <laughs> <laughs> that picture, though. Ha. Ha, Jesse. He's fighting next. Nate yeah. Smith versus Jimmy Flick. All right. Thank you for joining us. If you want to watch the fights, we got a link in the description. ESPN Plus. That's right. ESPN Plus. Link down below. So click on that. Get all the fights. You got some big fights coming up Saturday night. Overeem's back in the cage. If you want to watch it, click the link in the description. Izzy versus Costa. Click the link in the description. ESPN Plus. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. 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 Okay. Where's the music for ESPN? Everything's all fucked up. I don't know. What yeah. the fuck? Uh, Hold on a second. Let me. Uh, you gotta teach me how to fix these things, Moss. Yeah, watch me. I'm doing it right now. Okay, watch it. Advanced, go. right? Advanced. You go over to 100 likes. 100 likes. And monitor. Go, like, turn it off, off. And then you turn it on. Monitor on. Oh. There you go. Uh, what about the ESPN Plus thing? Ah, uh, we'll leave it. We'll just let it be. We fix carnage and 100 likes. Okay. So, uh, chat, what's going on, friends? 287 hanging. Hey, what's up, boys? Two more fights left on the Contender Series, season four, week number five. We have been partying for three fights, and uh, we're going to find out what happens in the next two, who gets the contracts. So, how you doing, chat? Justin Bailey says, let's go, Jimmy, the brick flick. Lakeisha says, Dennis Bazooka to win on the second Round Paul right. Frey can't wait for Izzy Costa, Incognito Picogram hanging with the boys. Chopping hey, door in a pandemic. Justin Senior. Shep, how dare you time out my son? I'm gonna fight your fucking ass. You think you're big and bad with that wrench? Time my son out again, and I'm gonna shove that wrench straight up your ass. When did he time Justin out? Wow. What happened? I Shep, you timed have... him out. And more drama in the chat. Sounds like this, Justin Senior had to get involved. This fucking chat room is turned in to the biggest drama fest I've ever seen. If ever there was the biggest drama fest for a group of full grown men. That's what's great about this community is subplots. You know, you got the fight <laughs> Everybody reaction. Has something. You got the donations. <laughs> then you got the uh, soap opera in the chat. <laughs> it's quite dramatic. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. You got side stories. If you don't like our content, don't worry. Because the community got you covered in there. They'll take care of you. That's why they're front and center. You know? I, I don't. I honestly don't understand the whining and complaining. And maybe Jesse's correct. Maybe it's because of the full moon. It is full and luscious. <laughs> but I don't know what's going on. I, I see that autism on the website. And I'm like, go over to the com, Get the popcorn. Or just start crying. Because it, I'm, I'm, I'm like, what is this? There's a million different plots, too. So if you're not interested in one person's drama, you can just find someone else's drama on there somewhere. And usually it revolves <laughs> around a grown man. Like, I'm like, what is this? Where do you have the time to complain about this stupid shit? <sighs> yeah, it's Jeff Dogs crying. Like, why? What's going on? Anyway, we love you all. No matter what the complaint Shopping is. Shopping a pandemic. We love everybody. <laughs> also... When you want to mention the UFC, separate the U from the F from the C or the dumbass computer will say you f What the Oof. fuck if you f yeah. If you want the message to stand out, do it right. You Fucking you to the F to the C. Yeah. UFC, not you Work it out here. <laughs> <laughs> you It's true, yeah. Why the computer so stupid? Doesn't even know how to pronunciate UFC. It just goes oof. 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 So how many people in the chat, if there's new people joining us, are you a fan? Is there a friend? We had a friend fight tonight on the card, and uh, let me know. That's why I like the Contender Series. Local guys, you know, regional guys, these guys are fighting the scene. Uh, if there's someone that you're looking forward to watching or oofk. just finding out the outcome to, let me know in the chat who's your guy or gal. Who's your oofk guy who's your or gal? Who's your oofk guy? <laughs> um, 
All right, Sun Green says UFC cover Tom LL D rest. Justin Jr., I'm kidding. Marker says laughing my ass off D rest. Matt Stone AM or AM. Amen. D rest. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh Justin Jr., sorry, brother. I'm messing with you, Shep. Uh oh, we got more apologies coming in here. What's, uh, what's going on, guys? Flatter Deacon says or Flatter Deacon, yes, says drunk savage. Justin Jr., my bad champ pale monkey. Matthew Broderick says, I'm a fan of Jess. Well, I'm a fan of Matthew. Justin says, had a long day. Just letting some steam off. Well, this is the place to do it. Just don't let your drama up in this chat, bitches. Alex Lovell says, oof, me. Um, and God, you know, Picogram, whoever doesn't get a contract but did the same, if not more than someone else who got the contract last week, whoever doesn't get a Shopping contract. Shopping during a pandemic. More than someone else last week. I Bro can't take Justin serious because he looks like that little Mexican kid off that movie training day. <laughs> I've never seen it. I've never seen it. But I do think Justin looks a little Mexican. I'm not going to lie. I'd be lying if I said he didn't. Do you think Justin looks Mexican? Like a little Mexican kid off uh, training day? No. <laughs> I don't see that. Chrome no. thinks he looks like a little Mexican kid off training day. <laughs> I don't. I mean, he could have. He, Justin looks like he could be mixed. Like, he could have a couple of things going on. But, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is the uh, story of Jimmy Flick. Is there tears? Is there drama? Moss, don't make fun. You don't know what it's about. So as I was taking my pee pee, I was thinking I kind of like I'm happy that the contender series is getting, you know, these new fresh face faces into the UFC people that are, you know, their dream was to become a UFC fighter. It's great to see during a pandemic people getting contracts and jobs. It's fantastic. Now, pushing that mushy stuff aside, I miss ruthless Dana White saying, I want to see a finish, or that's it. Like, I don't give a shit if it's a decision. Yeah, it was he kind of did that last week. He was kind of hard on them. No, nah, he's kind of soft, man. The like, two brothers that came in. Uh, but, yeah, but that guy was, the, one of the brothers was being a complete dick. Snot, yeah. And, and Dana still gave him a contract. I kind of want that cutthroat Dana White saying, no, yeah. get back in Yeah, line. he's been a little generous this year. Yeah, he's been soft. But do you think that maybe he's being generous because of this whole pandemic? He needs people yes. who are ready to fight right now. That is why. That is exactly what he wants. Young, he'll, hungry they'll get people. Cut. They'll I, fight. I guarantee there's going to be a lot of people who get cut at the end of this year or whenever yeah. this pandemic's over. So anyone that's getting in now, you know, make the best of the opportunity because you're probably not going to last long. Yeah. The UFC needs you. They, they need these young or even older journeyman guys. They need you to fill up spots in these cards that in the middle of a pandemic. But um, I don't know. I, there's no there's no more drama during yeah. the contender series. You know, it's just like. That's getting, there's a contract, there's a contract. Everyone's getting one. So, we'll see what happens. We'll oh, see. Moss, you're thinking too much. No, I'm just trying to make conversation. Vintage Dana ripping in on Steve and my friend Mar Mario. That's the Dana we miss, we all miss, but when Oof. he bullied Ariel and Mario, they did not deserve that, says Justin Jr. Dana White, he still, he still got it in him because you see what's going on with him in De La Hoya. Like, there's still that fire inside Dana White. He's, he's no pushover, but at the same time, I've noticed that he has become a lot softer. Actually, no, because he's been hard on the media. He's, you know, he's, he's been during the pandemic. He's kind of thrown them under the bus and said yeah. some nasty stuff. But he's still a softer version than he what he was before. I think it's the pandemic. I think he has to kind of be this way. But yeah. he'll go back to old Dana ways. Isaac says, I am new to the show, but after watching you all, I am saying the word wonderful, wonderful more than wonderful, ever. Wonderful. Let's go, Isaac! Yes, baby! <laughs> Show going. Oh shit! Shout out to the community! Shout out to the community! Shout out to the new and the old people in the chat. All right, everybody, hit the likes, subscribe to the MMA hole. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> we dusted off the Marky song, played a couple of times. Oh, God. <laughs> Horseback riding dance. <laughs> Mons, you should do it with me next time. <laughs> That's all you. That's all you. Nate Smith. <laughs> Is about to enter the octagon. Does he have any contender spirit uh, series experience? Let's see. 
LFA. Nope, not looking like it. Jimmy Flick. Got another LFA guy here. Okay, so here's the next fight. We're going to get to the tail of tape. We're going to give you our reaction, and we do appreciate everyone's company. You are all wonderful, 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 wonderful. All right. That's right. Look at my balls, baby. We we took actually some of the things that were said in that are like old things that we used to do. We kind of progressed. T Wood gonna win, says Sun Green. I have to say, T Wood now training with Jorge Masvidal. Maybe Jorge is giving some secrets about what Colby Covington likes to do. Help him out for his upcoming fight. Does T Wood get the win? I don't know. I I I'm not confident. I'm not very confident. But we'll see. I wouldn't mind seeing T Wood get the dub. But um looking forward to that fight. Nate's gonna kill this dude, says Paul Fay. So you got Nate. Mr. Nate. I mean, with a face like that, he's like, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. <laughs> that is some face. <laughs> like I mean, there's a lot of pictures you can get on Tapology. And here's a further away version of that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Nate too. Undefeated, I'm but gonna still go young. I'm gonna go flick. Submission, knockout. All right, we're gonna go to the tail of tape here on both of these young men. Good luck to both fighters. Jimmy Flick. Let's see who is gonna get the dub. Uh, if Flick makes it, his trunks will look like they say fuck. Flick fuck. Oh, hey. <laughs> 29 one, flick, one, 25 Smith, 5 foot 7 flick, 5 foot 6 Smith, 125.5 pounds both. 68 inch reach for Jimmy Flick with a 1 inch reach advantage of 69 inches for Nate Smith. Okay, Jesse. For Bourdain, rough in the fight. All right. Here we go. The round number one has begun. Flick and Smith. Let me switch the round here. Boom. To Oof. one. And here we go. All right, Smith, we got the blue trunks. Nice leg kick by the Flick. Flicking him in here, charging in with punches to the face. Flick. Very Angry look on his face. There's a jab coming in by Smith. So this one started off pretty feisty. Flick looks Amish. Okay. Yeah, Flick looks like he's been tormented in his life. N another leg kick by the Flick. Both sides. So he is starting off with the kicks to the wheels as a couple of jabs come in. Whoa, collision down to the ground. Flick pushing a leg over, trying to get the half guard from the top on Smith. In the middle of the cage. Now Flick going around for the back. Smith is scrambling, but Flick has him in trouble. Flick trying to get those hooks in. Smith looking to defend here. Has the hip in a Shopping position to stop hey, the legs panic. from entering between his copper. Sorry, this copper. is the last donation dot well from me anyways. Wonderful, wonderful. Hope to donate Friday if I get money from Benefit account. You f sorry, dressed UFC or UFC. Love the holes for as long as I live. WW food the dislikes keep liking the video for holes WW there you go WW Carpenter from the uh, UK thank you so much man thank you so much for those donations and listen a like is just as good we really appreciate the support and here we go Smith squirming out of it now dropping some rights down to the face of Flick Flick tying up the right hand trying to tangle him on the mat here Flick getting the right hand up and a carving elbow coming in from Smith Getting the side of the head. Looking for another one. Another elbow. Dropping on the side of the head of the Flick. Another elbow coming in. Smith looking to open up the face of the Flick. Flick trying to move his head out of the way. As that could not have felt good. You got Smith sitting on side control. Flick holding on now. Trying to tighten the lock around the right arm. And there's a knee by Smith. Another one to the ribs of Flick. Here Knees coming in. Flick attacking the left. Oh, the right arm some more. Now trying to really tug on this thing. Oh, shit. Here we go. Flick has Smith in trouble, and he is twisting the arm of Smith. Smith's arm is going reversed in a position where it should not go. Smith trying to fight him off. Smith in a lot of trouble here. And now he is. Smith is rolling around to the left side of Flick, but Flick muscles his way into a controlling position when he has. Whoa, hold on a second. Smith now slipping out of it. Slip. Smith trying to Here get out go. of this thing. And Flick putting the pressure now. Head and arm. Locking it up. He is going for a submission here. As Smith is trying to square him out some more. Flick putting all that pressure. He's really going oh for this thing. God. Locking around. 
Oh boy, the head and arm tangled up. Flick trying to get the submission. Smith is squirming around and getting out of it, but not for long. A guillotine attempt now as Flick is switching it up. Smith trying to fight this thing off. There's only one arm locked around and he slips out. Smith gets out of this another good. one. So Smith Whew. dodging bullets here as Flick is throwing up submissions left and right, trying all different angles to get it synced under the chin, but Smith fighting it off in every attempt. Man, oh man, Flick now squirming around, trying to grab the neck again as he tangles and squirms around, puts the right arm around the neck of Smith like a snake. Smith just staying patient here as Flick is getting tighter. We can't see if Smith is okay. Oh shit. Oh, he gets out of it. Smith does. Yeah, I I wouldn't have blamed Herm, Herb Dean if he tried to stop it there. <laughs> he couldn't see what Smith was doing. But Smith does get out of it and stands back up. Smith back up to the feet. 57 seconds left and a knee slipping in by Flick as he controls Smith against the cage. The left arm wrapped around the waist of Smith. Smith trying to fight off and they peel apart. So they separate with 45 seconds left. Smith dodges many attacks by Flick and comes in with the right hand. Look at him. He's exhausted, Smith. Yeah. Smith is trying to get something done at the end of this round, but just has to be thankful for getting this back up to the feet. Beautiful kick upstairs by Flick. He's fucking tired. Yeah, Smith is. Oh, he eats a kick to the body. Look at him flopping around. He, be careful, though. Smith could try to be, like, lulling him in. But it doesn't look. Yeah, it looks like he is pretty exhausted here Jumping as he eats a leg kick. A pandemic. Circling around, we got Chrome and a donation. Damn, someone put Justin on the website. Didn't know Justin was an actor. Justin on the website. We'll check that out. Thank you, Chrome, for the donation. Appreciate that. Spinning attack by Smith. Very slow coming in. <gasps> oh, my God. It does look like Justin. Go that does look corners. like Justin. Like, you know, in a weird, younger version way, it looks like Justin. So who put that there? Uh, Matt Stone, but Chrome is the one who said it. All right. So check it out on the website. Matt Stone. I don't know if we yeah, should be showing it, children on our... If I don't Justin know, it's was like five... It's from a movie, Moss. I know. It's just fucking weird. If Justin was like five, then I say that would be Justin. Yeah, go to the MMAholes.com. Check out what Matt Stone posted over there. Dana White. He is tired. Look at him. Smith is in the corner just fucking exhausted. Yeah, what do you do? How do you uh, regroup after that round? I mean... Flick was throwing everything. The kitchen sink at him. But Smith got out of everything. I mean, you got to give him credit for that. Did escape uh, every attack by the Flick. Let's see if uh, Smith could turn up, regroup here. Doesn't look very good for him, but you never know. Herb Dean says, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Looking over, and here we go. Round two has begun. Both fighters touch gloves, and we are off to another round. Leg kicks collide by both of them. Flick backing up here as Smith trying to come in with the right hand. Does land on the side of the head of Flick. Flick working the body with the foot and then Smith striking away. Smith misses with that left hand as Flick steps aside. Flick just kind of bull r rushing in. Missing with a leg kick. Here we go. Smith with one there and then Flick with a leg kick of his own. Switching stances is Smith and Flick with a nice right hand coming over the top. Both fighters look like they slowed down significantly here, but Flick now coming in with a Superman punch and underhooks pushes Smith against the fence. Smith trying to widen up the legs as Flick is going for the double. As he does this, Smith going for the... G oh. oh, man. Takedown here by Flick. As he gets the takedown, Smith attacking the right arm. But Flick's staying very patient, not worried about the arm. Yeah, he's fine. Sitting on the side of Smith, and Smith in trouble once again. I need grease. <sighs> so they're on the mat. Flick sitting on the side. Smith tangling up the right arm as Flick is trying to patiently slip his right leg out between the legs. Of Smith looking to mount. Smith not letting it happen as he puts his knees, he tucks it in. Trying to stop Flick from mounting. 
So he does avoid that. Smith gets on his knee. Flick putting the pressure on the back of the head and keeping Smith down. Smith back down to the mat. Flick dominating here as he's trying to slip some lefts into the face of Smith. Smith gets his legs up high, and now Smith attacking the arm of Flick. Smith putting the legs up high here. Smith now he's triangle styling here. Oh, hold on a second. Smith during a pandemic. Throwing the legs up around the neck. I had a horse named Flick when I was a kid. My grandpa took him out to pasture and put a bullet in his head <laughs> after he kicked my grandma in the face. True story. Huh? Thank you, Chrome. That's some story. By the way, speaking of Flick uh, catching a bullet, Smith with the legs up high, can't really see from this angle, but he's trying to tighten it up around Flick. Flick does have the right arm trapped of Smith, and they are tangled on the mat. Flick trying to pull himself from the grasp of Smith, and they are just tied up. We'll wait to see what happens here. A knee coming into the side of Smith. Flick carves up with an elbow, so Flick seems to be fine. And it looks like his head's slipping out of this attack here. Another knee coming in to the side. And oof. Ooh, this is not pretty. They are just tangled up on the mat. Flick is in the dominant position as Smith is trying to throw something up there to let something stick, but Flick gets his head out. Escapes. Side control. Oh, Smith. It is just not your night. A right hand slipping in by the Flick. Now Flick going for the choke again as he's looking to mount and tighten this thing up. This might be a tap over. Oh, nope. Slipping out again, Smith. Smith is slippery. Slippery Smith as he eats an elbow. Flick trying to go for the neck again as he sits on him. He is mounting, and there's a right hand slipping in. Man, oh, man. Flick is just trying to do everything he can to submit this guy. I'm not sure why he's not trying more ground and poundage. He's just really going for some submissions here. And he's got, he had the mount. Why not unload? Like, let the arms fly. Let the elbows fly. Like, he, like right now, just why is he not doing that? I, he's in a dominant position. Let him go. There he goes. Finally. There's an elbow from the top. It's just like he's sitting on him now. He's mounting him. All right, Flick looking for another one here as he attacks the arm. Oh, there we go. That arm is pretty much locked up good. Smith is trying to fight this thing off as Ugh. he twists his arm. Flick is just twisting his thing in Ew. all different directions. And Smith very limber here as he, oh, he slips out of it for the time being. And now a triangle thrown up by Flick as he gets the legs up high. Oh, my, I, I, I don't understand. I, I really don't understand. I, I don't understand why Flick, he was in a dominant position. I understand you want to get that arm bar, but now he's trying to finish him with seconds left in a submission. Smith gets out of that. I, I just feel that Flick had a chance to ground and pound the shit out of him and opted for submissions that are not working. Is it... Is that weird or... I don't know, man. Justin says he's seen the photo. He was lighter back when he was younger, not as dark. Hmm. It's weird, man. It does have... He does have your face, though, Justin. <sighs> God. He can't quite finish. Yeah, why doesn't, you know, if he's not, if you can't lock up these submissions, I mean, you got the guy mounted. Why not just keep on loading those elbows on the face of Smith? Just keep on brutalizing him. Like, it's just a series of submission attempts that aren't working. It's weird, man. Oh, man. What are we going to do? Well, a Flick is definitely winning the first two rounds. For sure. Uh, they're showing Dana White. He's, I guess that's Shopping when he was tweaking his arm out. Pandemic. Flick is an Oklahoma boy. He is too dumb to tap. You have to knock us out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Flick is not going to tap. I mean, he's the one that's throwing those submissions up. Smith. You mean Smith? Thank you for the donation, Chrome. Appreciate it. All right. So we're in the Oof. third round over here. And, I mean, this is pretty lopsided for the most part. Flick is do Oh, oh, a nice kick. No, he nodded Right off. up the middle by Smith as Flick gives him his respect. 
I like this fight, but I also hate this fight. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I listen. I'm just frustrated. I don't understand when the mounts. I don't understand why Flick is just not just trying to brutalize him. Here we go. Flick getting the takedown. Right to side control. And we're back on the mat. Smith, this is a familiar place for you. Coolio trapped on the mat, Jesse. And enough to laugh, living in the gangster's paradise. He's got the hair, Jesse. You know? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if Flick can get the job done. Oh, music. It's a oh, beautiful fuck. thing. Come on, Flick. I mean, at least finish this fight, for God's sakes. Give me something. I mean, eventually Smith's just going to have to give up, right? So Smith now sitting on the side, trying to loosen up the hands and let him go. Instead, he decides to go for the neck again. And Smith pulls him into a half guard from the top is where Flick is. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. Let's see what Flick can get going here. Will Smith escape another round as we are in the third and final round? This is tough, man. <clears throat> it's clear uh, Smith can't finish him on the ground. Well, I mean, Smith is not finishing anyone right now. He is still uh, stuck here as Flick is just... There we go. Flick looking to mount. So he slips the leg over. Okay, so let's see what he does with the mount this, mount this time. It seemed like he mounted him a million times. Really didn't get much done. He spreads him out. He's trying to get up high. He's working on the ribs. Hits him upstairs. I think Flick is weight. getting a little frustrated. Yeah, I mean, he's been going for a lot of submission. No, posture up. There you go. Slice in, man. Come on. There it is. Let it go. There Smith you go. Smith is holding his arm. So Flick is now trying to unload. There we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Posturing up. Chopping door. And going for it. Damn it. Throw him. Let him fly, baby. His arms are tired. Imagine going back to the hood and telling all your homies you got beat by a white boy named Flick. <laughs> well, he is losing right now. 225. Credit to Smith. I mean... He's avoiding submissions. Now Flick, so basically Flick tried to loosen him up for another submission attempt and did not pan out, but he's still in a dominant position on the top here. He's not mounted, but there's a half guard. Flick trying to let an elbow go. This fight feels like I'm playing Mortal Kombat with a broke controller. <laughs> I, I'm having a tough time with this. Yeah, whoever said that, I'm with you. Now Flick mounts him again. He really wants to get that head and arm. He wants, he wants to get it done. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. This could be it. Finally, Flick. My air it is. Finally, Flick gets the submission in the third round as he stands over him. Finally, man. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh. Carnage. Flick the carnage. Embrace the carnage. Go on a date with carnage. Vote for carnage. Make bitches with carnage. carnage. Really? Play jokes on carnage. Masturbate with carnage. Ejaculate the carnage. Post of the carnage. Enjoy pancakes with the carnage. Celebrate the carnage. All right. I mean, listen, he dominated him. I got to give him credit, man. He was resilient. Wait, Smith walking over to Dana White. He's pleading. Wow. So Smith walking over. He's talking to Dana White. 6-0 and oh, Smith. So he gets up. As he just been tapped. I mean, listen, Flick. You can see the life going out of his eyes. As that choke, nice and, oh, nice and tight. So Flick, I mean, you got to think, I mean, I guess he's going to earn himself a contract here. He dominated the fight, got the submission, got the finish. Relentlessly gets it. What do you think Smith was saying to Dana? I, I mean, I'm sure he was pleading for at least a developmental. So Dana clapping. He doesn't look pleased, though. Well, I mean, it was boring, let's be honest. But... I respect the man's grind. You know, he slowly, just slowly, just kept on going for it, going for it, going, finally got it done. I just kind of wish that he gave a little more, like, brutalizing. When he had the mounts, I, I wish he just let the arms go, you know? But I guess he did the right thing. That's why he's in there and I'm over here. So uh, Flick gets the win. Third round stoppage. All right, let's see what the chat says about this. Uh, Incognito says, 6-1, can I get a contract? <laughs> it's my first. Hey, Dana, it's my first loss, man. It's my first. I, I, listen, I just couldn't breathe, and I, I had to tap. Shopping during a pandemic. Can I have a contract? Judging by his face, 
flicked off a recovering crackhead from the Tulsa area. He is too small to be from southern Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Whew. I tell you what, it was painful to watch. and I mean, I respect the guy's skill, but he got the job done. He's probably going to get a contract. Let's see what happens when he walks by Mr. Pink. Okay, they are escorting him. He looks over to Dana. They touch gloves. And Dana's is a great fight, so. Man, he just doesn't look pleased, though. Ah, man. Hey, he got the finish. What do you think? Do you give him a contract? Yeah, I mean, listen, he got the finish. He he did some great work throughout the entire fight. There's nothing that you can take away from the guy. Um, There were moments that were a little difficult to watch. But listen, he had, like, what, four submission attempts already? Like, the guy's just good. So I, I it would be silly for them not to give him a contract. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could do it, Adam. I don't need him, but hopefully he gets it. You know, twenty nine years old, you get the submission, you get the finish. I, you know, just didn't do anything for me. But who am I giving the contracts to? This is right before the main event over here. La, you know, it's funny. Like after the William Knight fight, I'm in a fog. I just want to give William a contract. I don't give a fuck about anyone else. Is there any? I mean, I guess Lawrence. That was a good scrap. He didn't get the finish. Got the unanimous. Tucker Lutz. 10 and 1. I like this guy's style. The fight was forgetful though. You know, like I forgot it already, but he was he was a he pushed the pace the entire fight. Got into a little trouble at the end in the third round as Gibson made it a little dicey for him, but for the most part, unanimous decision. I just want to see William get the contract. I couldn't give two fucks about any of these guys, to be honest. Is there anyone else that like really sticks out that you give a shit about? Mm. I don't care. You know? Come. No, I'm good. Thank you. And you, are you trying to say something? So you trying to say? Coffee I'm just saying. <laughs> trying, trying to say, put the, put the gun, in, gun in your mouth. I do have a little cotton mouth, so maybe I probably just, yeah, probably need this thing. I didn't say anything. I just nah. offered it to you. Nah, I know what you mean. I'm just offering it to you. Give me that snack, bro. <laughs> Give me. All right, what do you think in the chat? I say one contract, but we'll probably see three. Mm. Much respect to all the warriors who step in that case as uh, Joby. Alex Lovell says, featherweight main event. Kevin from Chicago. Everyone tell Jesse to apologize to me. I apologize to absolutely fucking nobody. Wonderful, wonderful. Johnny Smith says, Dana needs guys with Corona. He gets the Ant-Man contract. Eddie Machete. Okay, so Dana needs to sign Knight and Smith. Drunk Savage says, apologize to KFC JBH. No! Oh, no, 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 King of the Dead says, oh, gots to go, baby. Flat Earth Deacon Knight flick so far. Brad Thompson so far, only one contract for sure. Sean Hart says, Knight should have won for sure. Alex Level, what did I miss last night? Just has to apologize to KFC? I don't know. He told me to apologize for something. But I don't apologize to no to anybody. Sun Green says, no more apologizing, damn it. That's right, Sun Green. We don't, we don't breed a bunch of fucking pussies over here. If you get your fucking feelings hurt all up in your emotions and you think that you can start drama, get the fuck out of here. This is the MMA holes, not the MMA romper room hour. What the fuck is this shit? <sighs> wonderful, wonderful. I uh, would love to see Knight try to go down at 185. Real big brother there with potential. Carpet down. He can't, man. I like, we would like to see that too, because he's not like the tallest of guys. But the dude just—he just has too much muscle. You know, he's got. It's it's kind of the guy's a fucking boulder, so light heavy is the, the lowest you're going to see him. He had trouble making light heavy. So take that. <laughs> All right, listen. Just give Knight the contract. <laughs> what are we doing here? These guys are forgetful. I I couldn't give Knight two fucks and flick. about. Yeah, I mean, listen. If, you, if you're a fan of these other fighters and these are your buddies and you train with them or whatever, congratulations because you'll probably see, you probably see at least three contracts here. But as you, just a fan, and, and listen, my, Knight's, our, Knight's our guy, but um, I mean, just as a fan watching this, Knight's the only one I remember. Like, for real, like, do you, uh, tomorrow, when you wake up tomorrow, are you going to be talking about any of these fights? No, you're going to be talking about Jason Knight's fight. Mm. I mean, William Knight, not Jason Knight. Jason Knight's <laughs> not fighting. He's in bare knuckle. <laughs> yeah. William Knight. <laughs> Some friend I am. Mm. Um, but we have one more here. And this is going to be interesting. There's Dennis Bazookia, who mm -hmm. fought in uh, Bellator. He, uh, his first pro fight was in Bellator. He uh, fights at a law MMA. Mm -hmm. We're familiar with him. I have no idea about this other guy. 
Melsic, Bogdasarian. Yeah. But who knows? I mean, we can see something interesting here. We got the unanimous, we got the knockout, and a unanimous. Before that, the loss by unanimous decision. And after that, uh, his first pro fight was Ryan Castro. You had the knockout. Yes. So as last five fights, or his only five pro fights, one loss and four wins. He's got to do something about that hair, though, I think. Why? I think I'm not digging the hair on Melsic. No? No. Nah. Melsic. Oh, Al Jermaine's talking there's now. There's the Sterling man. Mr. Sterling. The Sterling. I got pee pee. Pee pee break, guys. So, pee-pee. you know, this guy, Dennis, he trains with a lot of the law guys. They're pretty high on him. So let's see if uh, he can get the job done, man. Who do you got in this fight? We're going to be homers. We're just going to go for the Nuevo Yorker in Dennis. Bazookja. They're showing Chris Wybin now talking about him. We're just going to go for him. But honestly, uh, I just want to see a good fight. Knight getting that contract. Knight got saved by Herb. De- Herb didn't even do anything. Like, what did Herb do? He warned them, and Knight got his ass back up. Back up again. Yeah, like, what did he, yes, how did he get yeah, saved? Yeah. Herb didn't stand him up and reset them in the middle of the cage. Knight, uh, Knight got the fuck back up. Kevin, Kevin listen. Let me just put it to you this way, okay? Listen. Get over it. The black guy won. Just get over it. I know it's killing you that a black man won, but that's what happened, and it was the best fight of the night so far. So just get over it. Black guys could win too. Jesus Christ. Now, how many big babies do we have in the chat now? It's nuts. What is he complaining about? Why why are people... It's full moon. Everyone's complaining. Everyone's just a big fucking baby. Crazy. Right. Shopping during a pandemic. Moss, you know I anagram and read into it, so check this. William Knight anagrams to what? I'm killing. He's gonna places in the fight world. For those who don't know what an anagram is, Google it, Goofy. It, DRS, if you could send us whatever the hell you're talking about there, like the anagram stuff about William Knight, if you have anything that you scooped up, send it, uh, message me. And I'll send it to William. He's probably he'll probably post that shit on his social. He's into that stuff. He'll yes. get a kick out of that. So yeah, send that to me. Yes. William's gonna be interesting, man. He gets his contract in the UFC. Not the biggest light heavy, but it's gonna be fun to watch him compete. You know, I'm curious what kind of noise this guy could make. You're so fucking handsome. What? You're so so, so handsome. What? <laughs> you can pinch your little cheeks. Stop lying to me, Jesse. I'll pay you later. <laughs> All right. uh, that was funny, Moss. That was good. That was a funny one. Um, I think Dennis will win. Smooch. Herb the Herb. Stop triggering people, JVH. That's my job. Drunk Savage. That's my job to trigger grown men. Johnny Smith says she's drunk again. What the fuck you talking about, Johnny Smith? I haven't had alcohol in... What, how, what's the last time I had alcohol, Moss? Uh, It's been a minute. It's been about like... A month and a half it's been 12 now. 12 years. It's crazy. Roberto says, Knight still looks bad on the grappling side. Well, listen, he's a wrestler, so I don't... <laughs> he's actually... He's got a wrestling background. <laughs> he's a wrestler. He's a wrestler before anything. And then got to kickboxing and all that stuff, so he's... If he's bad on the ground, how the fuck did he power his way through that position? Trust me, watch... If you go back and watch Knight's fights, he's utilized his wrestling in almost all his fights. Yeah. He just he has brute strength, too, so he, he gets his way out of situations and pummels your face into the mat. Yeah, see? It's been one minute, says Alex Lovell. Dennis to get beat Baghdad, says Marker. Um, Johnny Smith, two hours. Matt Stone says, so handsome. Knight still looks bad. Oh, I already read that one. Sorry, Roberto. <laughs> I tell you what, we got 300 people watching. The, ch- the chat is slow as molasses. We In must January, be, We must be dazzling them with our, uh, with our content. They're just kind of, they're frozen in there. What's it's going the on? It's the beard. It's the bird. Is it the magical beard? No, you know what happening? it is, Moss? It's a Tuesday. Everyone wants to chill out, watch a little MMA holes, watch a little contender series, not Fair have enough. to chat, you know, just like. Just like, I don't want to work tonight. I don't want to do this yeah, typing just, shit. Yeah. Is this? I don't. I just want to watch. I want to be ent- entertain me. Okay. Uh, hit the like button. Let's get that up to hundred likes for God's sakes. With three hundred people watching, just hit the least the you can do. Like for God's sakes. We have a card this weekend as well. Overeem versus Sakai. We'll be reacting to that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, and we'll dazzle you with our play by play with that. We're live tomorrow, Wednesday. Jesse's breaking down this card Thursday. Yes. And then we're fooking off. I'm going to go two in a row. 
Jess. Yes. <gasps> you agree? So. I am going two in a row. No, you're not. Ah. Okay. JBH is winning this gold belt, baby. I gotta make a. I gotta make a humble return to uh -oh. uh, first place gold medal. What? Hold on, Jesse. What? Look who is the striking coach for Melsic. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Tell me. Head movement. Head movement. Head, head movement. movement. Head movement. Head movement. Head movement. Head movement. So we got Edmund. Ray Longo. Ray Edmund. Oh, man. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, man, Jesse. That's not good. That's not good for uh, Melsic. Oh, no! 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 All right. Speaking of Edmund, he made it there. He is in the corner, and they walking. They're walking in now. Melsic, do you want to take this fight, JBH? No, you got this. I'm gonna watch the floppy hair. I kind of don't want to call it because I can't say his last name. Bag. Just say Melsic. All right, I'll say yeah, Melsic. Uh, oh, she trains with Shabazzian, of course. I must point out though, Moss, that Alex Lovell did say I would win on Friday. So suck that. Alex, <laughs> listen. No way. <laughs> Two weeks in a row. And still. And still. <laughs> Look at my little sombrero. Oh. All right. So main event action oh, about to go oh, down oh. here. Contender series. We're going to react in our broadcast booth. Melsic Bag, uh, Bagdasarian. He kind of looks like... um. I know he's talking. Ryan Jarena. Yes. Jarena. Yeah. Why isn't like guys like Ryan Jarena? Actually, he's not pro yet, Ryan. He's got to go pro first. Yeah, he looks like Jarena. Jarena would be a good. He's got to get back in the cage. <laughs> oh God. All right. Uh, thirsty Jess. Yeah, I got my water here. Actually, I was my coffee made me like like. Oh, I just Jarena. needed made it me jittery. I just needed water. Got to dilute the caffeine a little bit. We got to find new young MMA holes that are just. If you guys are training or. Young in the game, pro fighters, AMI fighters, hit us up if you think you're going to be in the Contender Series. We want some new blood. We want to find some new friends that are going to make it here. And Aljo is in the corner. Uh, Dennis Bazooka. Dennis Quaid is here. Dennis Quaid. <laughs> the hell? Dennis Quaid. Well, you don't know who Dennis Quaid, Moss? I do. <laughs> Moss, I gave you points last Friday because you were poisoned. How dare you? No, uh Alex. You're on team boys. Alex has you always been Jake Grumos. He's he, just pity you yet last weekend because Alex has moved over you had a to fever. the cock side. You made me the fever. He's <laughs> one of the men. Now he's he's become a man. You wish. Dennis Bazuchka Bazuchka. Three win three fight win streak. Two wins by knockout. I don't know, Moss. I'm thinking the Jarena guy is gonna No, I think Dennis is gonna get it done. Gonna take the win. Jarena. Let's, Let's go bazooka. <laughs> Call him bazooka. Bazooka boss. All right, who do you got in the chat? Uh, Ma, uh, let's see. Rahelio with the emojis. Sean Hart. Yes, we need new blood. NH, you guys are the best. No, you're the best, and You're the best. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Marker says, let's go, Bazooka. Joe Fett, Joseph Edrick says, this fight's going to suck. This fight's going to suck. Yeah, I hope not. Uh, what's the tail of the tape over here? I really hope this doesn't suck. All right, Bazooka, 22, 28, Melsic, 5'9", Dennis, 5'9", Melsic, 145 pounds, Melsic, 145.5 pounds, Dennis. A 70-inch reach for Melsic wow. with a 1-inch reach advantage at 71 inches for Dennis Bazooka. What an opportunity, man. Only five fights as a pro, 22 years old for Dennis Bazooka. Or is it Bazookia? Yeah, maybe it's Bazookia. That's probably it. Right? Bazookia? Yeah, yeah Bazookia is probably... Uh, who knows? All right, Bazookia, we'll call him that. All right, round one has begun of Bazookia versus Bogdasarian. Bogdasarian now circling. I mean, uh, coming forward is Bazookia circling around, trying for the lay kick, Dennis. But here comes, oh, Bogdasarian with the left hand. They come in, they collide, knees to the body. But Bazookia, Bazookia, I can't say this. I'm pretty sure name. it's Bazookia. Yeah, right? Bazookia is probably it. Bazookia pushing to the fence with the underhook. And now... Bogdasarian spins him around. A knee by Bogdasarian. Bogdasarian and Bazookia 
break up. Both fighters tap in the gloves as Dennis is threatening and then circling. Dennis Quaid is here. Bogdasarian with the kick to the body. Whoa, another one. This this guy's coming in hot. Knees to the Telling body. Ya. Pushing. Oh, man. Bazooki in trouble against the fence as he's trying to circle off. He covers up and Oof. a left hand by Bogdasarian. Edmund screaming in the corner. Edmund, Not Connor, Edmund. <laughs> with the underhook tight against the fence. Both fighters fighting for this contract in the first round of three. Bogdasarian looking. Oh, man, he is Insane looking strong. Insane power. Man, lefts are coming in. Oh, my God. Bogdasarian. More lefts are sh just charging in on the face of Bazookia. Bazookia trying to peel himself off the fence as he eats those punches. Oh, uppercut by Bogdasarian. Bogdasarian with the knee. Bazookia weathering the storm here. But trying to peel himself off that cage. Can't get it done. Throwing some knees of his own. But Bogdasarian, there's an elbow that separates him. By Bazookia. Bogdasarian coming in with the left. They separate again. Oh, the head kick by Bogdasarian landing on Bazookia. Bazookia, the 22-year-old with the underhook, trying to press off the fence again. Bogdasarian putting pressure on another knee to the body. Bazookia trying to put the hand on the back of the head, pushing him away. Takedown attempt by Bogdasarian. Stopped by Bazookia, but Bazookia, oh my God, eating punches by Bogdasarian against the fence. Bazookia cannot get away from the attack of Bogdasarian. Bogdasarian would have left. Another one coming in. Bogdasarian is pretty much dominating here in the first round. Do you think he's going to blow his load? I don't know. Bazookia in a little bit of trouble here. He's got to stay patient. Hopefully he doesn't take too much damage as they both land knees. But Bogdasarian holding on to the left hand and keeping an underhook under the right. Bazookia hits him with a left. Going for a trip and spins him. Bazookia now peels off. So how about that? Bazookia getting off the fence, but Bogdasarian right on top Whoa. of him. Oh, tripping him out. Bogdasarian gets back up to the feet as Bazookia trips out the legs and then a left hand coming in by Bogdasarian pushing Bazookia back to the fence. 2.05 left in the first round as Bazookia trying to get something done here, but it's all Bogdasarian. Head kick, a left coming in. Bazookia shakes it off, circles to the middle. That was a foot to the face there. Bazookia eating him a left straight down the pipe on the face as Bazookia looking very tired with leg kicks Bogdasarian throwing another left hand on the face of Bazookia. Oh, the body shot by Bogdasarian hurting on Bazookia. 36 to 8 significant strikes in favor of the froey Bogdasarian. Bogdasarian throwing tight and hard. Kick to the body by Bazookia. Bazookia eats a foot to the body. Bogdasarian. Bazookia trying to go upstairs with a foot to the face, missing as he dances away from the cage, resets to the middle. Bogdasarian coming forward. Left hand cocked back. Kick to the body. Bogdasarian again. Bogdasarian trying to slap in a right hand. Bazookia with a leg kick. So Bazookia eating a left hand. Oh, another left by Bogdasarian pushing Bazookia to the fence. Under a minute left in the first round. Bazookia trying to peel off underhook. Now presses Bogdasarian against the fence. What happened here? Bazookia with an underhook now yeah. going for a takedown on Bogdasarian. I think he might have exerted too much energy. Bogdasarian easily spun around by Bazookia. Yeah, and Bazookia with the takedown. Fuck. Dennis getting the p takedown on B Bogdasarian. Bogdasarian eating a knee to the ribs. Trying to get back up. Bazookia switches the party up and now has to control another knee to the ribs. So Bogdasarian could have possibly gassed out. Knee to the head. Coming in by Bazookia. Law MMA taking, regaining control of the fight. As both fighters looking tired against the fence. Nine, eight, seven seconds left in the first round. Another knee working the midsection. Nice job by Bazookia keeping this thing tight against the fence. And the ref breaks it up. Round over. Oh, man. Wow. Gassed himself out. That's why you don't come in swinging unless you're ready to knock out in the first round. I tell you what, man. Bazookia weathered some storm there. As he opts to stand up between rounds, Al Jermaine pouring the water down his face. Bogdasarian won the first, but Bazookia might have swung the momentum in his direction. Hmm. What do you think, Jess? Oh, 
man. I did not expect that, Moss. I did not expect him to go. He, like, went in Robbie Lawler style, and then he just fucking gassed himself out. I tell you what, man. If I'm curious, it doesn't look like, I mean, Bazooki really landed a lot in the midsection, which seemed to slow. I mean, uh, Bagdasarian landed a lot in the midsection to slow down Bazookia, but Bazookia held up. Yeah, he just he basically took the punishment so that he could come back in the later round. It looks like the momentum has switched in favor of Dennis. We'll see how Bazookia can start this second. As he both fighters get rest, they touch gloves, and here we go. Round two has begun. Let's see what we got here. A leg kick by Bazookia. And then one to the midsection by Bogdasarian. Bazookia trying to get come a little closer. But yeah, yeah Bogdasarian looks closer. tired, man. As a leg hits the body, Bogdasarian trying to whip a hook to the head. He, You can tell he's waiting the counter this time. He's not trying to go crazy and move forward. He's just kind of waiting for the opportunities, Bogdasarian. Both fighters are standing their ground here. Bazookia walking into a left hand, countering in by Bogdasarian. So Bogdasarian being very uh, strategic with his punching here in the second round. They are landing, so nice job by that. Spinning kick by Bogdasarian, grazing the side of Bazookia. Bazookia trying the push kick to the midsection. Bogdasarian with a knee as they clinch, and a beautiful elbow by Bogdasarian gets the attention of Bazookia as Bazookia is kind of shaky here. You notice on the middle, oh, head kick by Bazookia. A body shot by Bazookia, eating a left hand by Bogdasarian to the face. Bogdasarian with a kick to the body, trying to move Bazookia back. The 22-year-old has experienced some damage here in the first round, trying to bounce back. Bogdasarian pushing him away as Bazookia comes in with a leg kick. Man, they're both looking tired now. Bazookia now circling towards the left arm. Leg kick by Bazookia. One thing about Aljo is I noticed that he's been a pretty good cornerman for these low MMA guys. Yeah. A very smart guy when it comes to strategies and breaking down fights. And he can pretty much understand how the other fighters uh, approaches and how to adjust. With that being said, though, standing his ground back to Sarian and so far winning the beginning of this first round as he's just waiting for the right opportunities to land. And he is. Leg kick coming in by Bazookia. Bazookia trying to go in with another leg kick over there. That backs Bogdasarian up. And then Bogdasarian still working that midsection with the foot. Liking that. Bazookia coming forward with a right hand. Landing there. Another one by Bazookia. A left by Bazookia. So Bogdasarian needs a couple. Unfazed coming in. Working the body with some more kicks. And there's a left to the face. Kick to the body again. Bogdasarian. I mean, uh, Bazookia. Bazookia coming upstairs. Eating a knee as he goes for the trip and does get it. So Bazookia getting the takedown. Bogdasarian on one knee and Bazookia trying to hold him down as Bogdasarian getting back up to the feet. Bogdasarian saying, you can't hold me here. Bazookia putting all the pressure on the back, trying to slide around. Bogdasarian fighting him off. Bogdasarian putting the, feet, the hands down to ground himself. Trying to peel the hands off and they separate. Yikes. Body shot by Bazookia. Heads. Whoa. Bogdasarian missing with a left and then tripping, getting back up. He's losing himself. Bogdasarian throwing everything into his punches and he's going to completely gas himself out. He's here. already gassed. Bogdasarian keeps pushing Bazookia away. Both fighters colliding and landing. You can see that they are both pretty tired here as they collide in the middle. Bazookia pushing. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, Bazookia pushing Bogdasarian to the fence. Knee to the body by Bogdasarian as his back is against the cage. <laughs> Bob Luzarian. <laughs> Bob Lou. The Baba Duke. Yeah, it's tough with the, the B and the weird fucking names. Some stomps on the feet by Bazookia going for a takedown against the fence. Bogdasarian fighting him off. Bazookia looking to pull both legs away and does pull him away a la Habib style. Bazookia getting Bogdasarian down briefly as Bogdasarian on a knee and back up. So Bogdasarian doing a beautiful job getting back up to the feet, pushing Bazookia back. Bazookia lands knees to the body, and Bogdasarian with the left. An elbow by Bazookia separates them, but Bogdasarian comes in with an elbow of his own. Both fighters looking incredibly tired here. 45 seconds left in the second round as Bazookia is leading in significant strikes here. 
A left hand coming in by Bogdasarian, pushing Bazookia back. Right hand slipping in by Bogdasarian. Another right here. Slapping in. A left hand coming in by Bogdasarian. Bazookia weasels away around to the backside, looking for a possible late takedown in the second round. A grounded Bogdasarian. A knee by Bazookia. Bogdasarian refuses to go down here. Bazookia pushes him off. Head kick by Bazookia landing. A right landing by Bazookia. We got five seconds left in the second round as it looks like we're going to a third. Oh, beauty. Right hand coming in by Bazookia to end that round. And they find each other's corners. Blech. Or their own corners. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I think we got a split fight. Yeah. Blech. Like, just kind of a, a war going down here as they both got very tired after the first round. But I think Bazookia did enough, just a smidge more, to get to edge out the second. Let's see what the chat says. Ooh, Eddie says he's tired. Look how easy Bazookia got that takedown with just a body lock. Mm. AM says 1-1. One, one. Drunk Savage, 1-1. One, one. Roberto Lopez, Dana and JBH hate this fight. I don't hate the fight, but... Um, with these two types of strikers, you would expect to see a finish early on, you know? If Bazookia can s steal this third round, and I mean, I think he got the second and gets a decision. He is 22 years old, and, you know, Dana White, unless he gets a finish, you know, Dana White would just say, you know, he's still too young. But Bogdasarian, you got to watch out for this kid, man. He started very good in the first round, and let's see if uh, he can get the third here. As he is Man. the older. Bogdasarian is just fucking huffing and puffing even before the round started. Oh, a leg kick by Bazookia coming in with an uppercut as well. A left coming in by Bazookia. Bazookia seems like, yeah, his gas tank is a little more full. Bogdasarian trying to come in with a left. Working the midsection again. This is kind of like one of those fights that both fighters want that contract, but it's just they're too tired to really... Get anything accomplished here. Left hand by Bogdasarian. Lands flush on the face of Bazookia. Bazookia with a leg kick. A kick to the body again. Bogdasarian. With four minutes and 18 seconds left in this fight. Who will win? Will there be a contract? Who will win. As the right hand slipping in. Bazookia looking for a takedown now. Trying for the trip. And doesn't get it. Bogdasarian keeping it on the feet. Left hand by Bogdasarian. Knee to the body. And both fighters landing in the knees. Bazookia backing up as Bogdasarian moving forward now. Bogdasarian with the head kick. And Bazookia looking tired now as he eats one upstairs. Circles around. Another one. Right hands coming in by Bogdasarian. Oh, man. It's, it's tough to watch this, Oof. man. There's the trip. Again, I mean, Bazookia landing the leg kicks, but Bogdasarian tags him right on the face with a nice knuckle sandwich. Kick to the body by Bogdasarian. Pushing him off. Head kick misses by Bazookia. Bazookia slipping in the right hand. Bogdasarian coming in, missing. And, uh, oh, counter striking by Bazookia. Backing up. Leg kick, Bogdasarian. Oh, boy. Both fighters exhausted. Here is a spinning kick right to the hip. Bogdasarian landing it. I'm getting tired watching this thing as these guys are just exhausted. Knee to the body. Bazooki as he takes a gasp of air looking for an uppercut missing. Bogdasarian comes in with the left hand. Another one slipping in by Bogdasarian. They're both in the middle of the cage and they're Bogdasarian just, keeps pushing them away. Pushing them away. At this point, they're just trying to put in whatever energy they have left. Bogdasarian wraps around the waist of Bazooki getting a takedown, but Bazooki is scrambling out of it. Now gets back up. Putting the pressure on the back of the head of Bogdasarian. Bogdasarian pushing to the fence. Bazookia trying to fight him off against the cage. A right hand slipping in by Bogdasarian. They separate, but Bazookia's back is still against the fence. Using it to kind of keep himself up on the feet. And boy, oh boy, the exhausted fighters continue. Knee to the midsection by Bazookia trying to trip down Bogdasarian. Bogdasarian saying no, stopping it. Keeping it up there and greets him with a knee. Says, that is your punishment for trying to take me down. Pushing Bazookia to the fence. Wide legs. Bogdasarian looking for a takedown of his own. As this is happening, Bazookia trying to crank the arm Kimura style. And 
just pulling for it, going for it. Now it transitions to an armbar Bazookia as he is going for the ground attack on Bogdasarian. Bazookia in the third round, threatening for the armbar. Bogdasarian trying to fight it off here. And we hear Edmund in the corner screaming. Oh, oh, oh. Bazookia going for the armbar here on Bogdasarian. Bogdasarian now rolling around. Looks like he's in a little bit of better position trying to fight off the attack of Bazookia. As he is scrambling around. The legs are high. And it looks like Bazookia gets out of it. Bogdasarian. I mean, Bogdasarian gets out of it. Bazookia stands back up. Hits him with an uppercut. So Bazookia... Tries to get the armbar. Bogdasarian getting out of the position. Stands up and they separate. A big gasp of air by Bazookia. Aljamain Sterling screaming in the corner. As we have under a minute left in the fight. Both fighters wanting that contract. Left hand collides to the face of Bazookia. Bogdasarian lands it. Bogdasarian with a left hand. 40 seconds left. Bazookia throws one. Bogdasarian pushing to the fence. Going for a takedown late in the fight. 35 seconds left. Can Bogdasarian land it? Elbow coming in by Bazookia. Bogdasarian clubs in with a shot as he has Bazookia against the fence. 25 seconds left in the final round. Oh, my goodness. My Oh, we don't, we're not even on the right screen. Uh, how long have we been sitting here? I apologize, guys. Uh, we, I think the whole round we were sitting in that screen. Apologize about that. Bazookia, Bogdasarian. Fight is winding down with 3-2-1. And that thing is over. I apologize for not being in the right scene, but who gives a fuck? Oh, we got a time machine donation over here. Pale Monkey! Got a smartphone and I need a time machine! Pale Monkey! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Oh, shit. Thank you, Pill. Come in, tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy. You're fat. You can't touch me. You're not man enough. I eat your asshole alive, you bitch. Whoa. Fuck you, you hoe. Come and stay in my face. I fuck you, your ass for everybody. Wow. You bitch. Come Ow. on, you Ow. bitch. You scared coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me. Shout out to Pale Monkey. Normally I wouldn't do this, but Nicole is kind of having a hard time right now. Can we get a show of support for her? Life sucks right now, but we'll oh. get through it. Hashtag oh. Nicole Strong. I love you, Nicole. You got this. Whatever the fuck it is you're going through, you're a strong ass woman. That's why you're part of the MMA Holes. Hashtag Nicole Strong. Nicole, remember that the whole MMA Holes community is for you. They got you back. So anytime you're down, pop in the chat. And we'll pick you back up. I hope your day gets better. Sorry to hear that. All right, we're going to a decision. Bogdasarian, Bazookia. Very close fight, man. Maybe Bazookia by a cunt here. Where's the room? Can I? I'd like to hear this. All right. Oh, loud. Whoa, super loud, Mom. Wow, man. Unanimous decision. Oh, Bogdasarian right. gets the unanimous decision. Decision win over Dennis Bazookia. And you know what? Uh, I can't argue it. Can't argue it. Uh, who cares? That fight, listen, it is what it is. Who gives a shit? I mean, honestly, I don't think either fighter gets a contract. And Bazookia is a young kid, 22 years old. He'll be back. Triggered! Stay strong, Nicole. This too shall pass. That's right. Hell yeah, baby. Thank you, Shep. All right, so before we get into the results and the, um, not the results, we found out the results. A uh, bunch of decisions. William Knight, the only finish of the evening, Jess. What do you think about that? Um, No, there's Jimmy Flick. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. See? Forgettable. Sorry. Yeah, two <laughs> finishes. I apologize. Yeah, honestly... Complete forgettable I card. What happens with Nate Smith? I want to see if Dana White gives Nate Smith a, a developmental because Nate was practically begging Dana White. No, that's not happening. That dude, no, <laughs> not happening. Not sorry. 
I don't know. That's not or happening. Or at least the second it. shot at the contender Maybe series. we'll throw him a couple extra bucks. But, um, yeah, we're going to find out who gets a contract now. But before that happens, let's beat it up. Nicole Strong in the chat. As we beat the ceiling, thank you for your company tonight. Hit the like button, friends. Fights, they so tight. Pump the lights. Hundred lights. Come on, beat it up. Watching fights, they so tight. Pump them lights. Hundred lights. Come on, chat. Watching fights, they so tight. Pump the lights. Hundred lights. Watching fights, they so tight. Pump them lights. Oh yes, indeed. The dislikes can choke on a carrot. Um, I just saw. Let's go, baby. Nicole's grandfather passed. Today. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez, that sucks. I'm sending you a virtual hug right now, Nicole. Where are you? Sad stuff over there. Sorry to hear about that, Nicole. And feel my energy, uh, Nicole. I'm hugging you. You never want to lose a family member. That's for sure. May he rest in peace. All right. Well, listen. That's why. That's why we're here. We're trying to, you know. Get your mind off of the crazy shit that's going on in your lives. We got contender series that just wound down. We're going to find out who gets contracts. We got fights. We got the holes. We got JBH. And retarded high fives. We got it all here on the MMA holes. Let's see who gets the contracts. I'm going to send you one more hug, Nicole. Feel my energy. Yeah, my grandparents died when I was really young. Lost them all. I got n none of them are on this side of the dirt, in my family. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's see who gets these contracts. Contender Series has just finished when it comes to the fights, but it has not finished when it comes to the contracts. The most interesting part of the show is about to go down, and we're going to explain who gets the contract. The first fight on here. Tucker Lutz versus Chase Gibson. Tucker Lutz pretty much dominated the whole fight. Until the end of that third round, Gibson switched and flipped the script and got Tucker into some trouble. I like Tucker's pace. He's 9-1-0. I think you can give the man a contract. He's interesting. But honestly, when it comes down to it, the only guy that deserves it tonight, in my opinion, is the next one, William Knight. No more pity contracts, all right? Yeah, enough's enough. Come on. Nuts enough, but we'll find out. They're showing Williams highlights over here. He was the highlight of the night for sure. But how many contracts do you think in the chat? I'm going to say since it is a pity thing, I'm going to go with like... Two. Mm, Two contracts. It should be one, to be honest. But um, I'm going to say they're going to give three. That's what I'm going to say. I, I got to piss a lot. You know, this coffee's running right through me, Jesse. I got to... Pee like a racehorse. I'll be right back. To uh, take over. Take over the show. Okay. Like a horse race. Okay. A horse race? That like a a racehorse, horse horse. Moss. Alex Lovell says, LOL, Johnny Smith, two contracts. Carpet Tom, three contracts. Marker, three contracts. Two says, Drunk. Shep Dog, two. Flatter Thegan, Flick, and Knight. Yeah, I agree. Anonymous says, two. Vigo, Drunk Savage. Oh, Vigo Sockham's back in the chat. Oh, no! Just kidding. Wonderful, wonderful. That's wonderful, wonderful. Uh, none of the above. What? Yeah, no, that's not happening. There's definitely got at least two contracts. Three contracts for sure. Additionally, one potentially. Sun Green says, best wishes, Nicole. That's right. Everyone send your love to Nicole. She's going through some hard times right now. Losing a family member is never an easy thing. So make sure you guys send your condolences and your love. Drunk Savage says, Vigo Stockholm, not if Trump wins. None of the... Oh, I already read that one. Uh, play UFC game. No, we're not going to play anything tonight. Um, but maybe if we get like a gaming stream on the wheel or something like that, people are getting too comfortable with the gaming streams, you know, got to kind of lax on that a little bit. You guys are getting too comfy. Alien contacts is de-rest. Eddie Machete says Laura is a sociopath. She feels nothing. She'll smile at you and interact gleefully with you to your face and in her head at the same time, look down on you. She's a serpent and Dana White is too. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Sanko? Is yeah. that what he said? Yeah. She's a silent killer, that Laura. Wow, this guy's got jacked up teeth. Teeth. I hope Flick gets the contract to fix the, that grill. Oh, my God. Flick's an interesting dude, huh? This dude's head's all banged out. 
He's got the lowest hairline I've ever seen. So Flick, who was the other person with the uh, the finish. We're talking about him right now. We'll find out if he gets a contract as well. 15-5-0. Probably going to get one. The Flick. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. Make sure you slap the like button. I mean, 300 people watching, 113 likes. I mean, what the hell is going on here? It's not that hard. Just hit the like button down below. And if you're not subscribed, hit the sub notification bell, all that jazz. You think Nate Smith's going to get a pity contract? Um, <laughs> it's no way in hell. No. no way in hell. So they're going through the highlights of these guys as we have uh, four guys waiting over there. William Knight looking like Hercules. Wait, what happened? Oh, oh okay. I thought this is uh, Mizuki. It looks like him, doesn't it? No. It looks like him a little bit. Uh -huh. They all look the same. Tucker Lutz. That's who it is. Tucker Lutz. I think Dana gives him a contract. In some weird way. I don't know. Okay, I, I, I don't even know anymore. I don't know what to Comfort? think. Just sold my house and going in the road to escape this bullshit. Going off grid. That's the best all way right. to do it, man. You got to go off grid. All right. We got to pay attention, friends. He enjoyed all the fights. Here we go. All right. Lutz, Lutz. is the first up. 26 years old. Tough fight tonight. Nine and four. Contender Series uh, again in November. He's bringing him back. All right, so he says if he's interested in doing it, he's going to bring him back to the Contender Series. Okay, so he got another chance. He doesn't look happy about it, but I mean, Jesus. Night. Right, here we go. He says, get over here, Knight. Enjoy the contract. William Knight is now a UFC fighter. Yes. Ah! He's a UFC fighter. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. We got one contract. Okay. Johnson. So we're talking about. He said his guard. Is that what he said? His guard is ridiculous. Yeah. Can you turn down a little bit? Because it's a little loud. That's all right. Okay. He right. thinks Lawrence is special. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? He thinks he's going to be something special. Whoa! Another contract! Lawrence! <laughs> All right. He was, that was a good fight, though. So. Yeah, he liked his ground game. Yeah. Jimmy Flick. Here we go. Hopefully this guy gets a contract to fix that face. He's going to watch his fight again. Most submission attempts in contender series history. He doesn't lack any confidence. Look at this guy. He's All talking right. on his opponent, Nate Smith. I told you. He's inviting Nate Smith back. Yeah, Nate Smith talked himself back into the contender series. All right. Oh, Jimmy Flick gets a contract. He got a contract. Nate Smith is returning for the next contender series. Fix that grill, baby. Fix that grill. All right. So the last contract over here, Melsic Bagdasarian. All right. Two seriously badass dudes this fight was between, he says. Uh-oh. Doesn't look like it, Jess. Good experience. He's inviting him back in November. Okay, so he's back in the contender series. Well, listen. You get another shot. Look he only has fucking six fights, for God's sakes, as a pro. So Bogdasarian 
is not in the UFC. So mystical right again. Three, three contracts, Jesse. Look at that. Mystical right again. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. So we got William Knight, Lawrence, and Flick get the contracts tonight on the contender series. All right. So what do you think, Jesse? Did that Fair work enough. out? Fair, fair contracts in my book. See, Car Carper, we're on the same page, buddy. Three contracts. Just call me the mystical. Call him Mr. Mystic Carper. Um, listen, I understand the reasoning behind those contracts. I get it. Plus, they're, they're a little in anemic on their roster right now. So you got to let guys that shine a little bit, you know? And, and there were bright spots for the other two. So Flick and Lawrence getting through. But more importantly, William Knight's being interviewed right now as he is all smiles. And I just want to hear what he has to say. Oh, shit, he's, he's fucking Laura Sanko right now. He's got her spread eagle, and he's going balls deep into Laura Sanko. Oh, my God, William Knight is fucking Sanko. There we go. Look at this. Oh, yeah, man. He All right, what a kind of, too loud, Moss. What kind of impact? His size. So he's comparing himself to DC. He said people people overlook him because of his size. Yeah, it is true, man. Every time we talk about William Knight, everyone's like, he's too small and when it comes to his height and this and that. And he's just pr continuously proves people wrong. So William Knight. Oh, DC's pointing at him. Was because <laughs> I look exactly like when I take my shirt off. DC says. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I, I, can't you see the resemblance, Jess? Do you see it? I mean, I see it. It looks just like Daniel Cormier. Man, oh man. Listen, we'll find out. We're going to follow him for the ride. We'll get him back on the show. But uh, that was fun, man. I'm, I'm very happy that Knight got the contract and two more contracts. So more people get jobs. The other two get another shot in the Contender Series which is nice. So everyone's getting chances and second chances. Even a guy, the first time ever that we've seen Dana White say, hey, even the losing guy, ah, we'll bring him back on too. So it's good stuff. Mystic Jesse called that one. What do you take away from tonight, Jess? I'm just pleased that uh, William Knight got the contract. I'm happy for everybody else that got the contract. You know, well-deserved. I don't have any negative things to say about them, but I'm super excited William Knight got the contract. I really hope that he can make the best of his UFC career. Yeah. 32 years old, still has plenty of time to get things done. Uh, could be in his prime right now. You know, he's still got some more to learn. He hasn't been really in as a pro very long, but he's been making some noise. So congratulations, second attempt, mm -hmm. getting it done. Yep. But uh, chat room, get your last comments in there, and then we out of here. Father thinks his mom has the skills, Vigo, Sun Green, DC, the go. Anything forces right on for night. I remember her, him from uh, y'all at the sa smaller fighters. Double champ and fist pump. Anything for us. Ah, nice. Very uh, nice. Annie says, I'm so glad I have the MMA holes in my life. Thank you, guys. Drunk Savage, go on a donut run. Uh, ew, with the pandemic? Blech. Get that COVID. Uh, th that is it. Says Alex Lovell. Carper Tom, thank you for the show. Drunk Savage, great show. Moss and GBH. <laughs> Pale Monkey says, that photo makes him look like he's trying to be King Mo. This photo, I'm telling you, looks like a Mortal Kombat. That's what it looks like. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. One last shout out to Nicole Wilson. I hope you are doing better. Like I said, losing a family member is never an easy thing. So sending all of our love your way, Nicole. And guys, make sure you tune in tomorrow night, TGIW, 9 p.m. Eastern time. We will be live. And don't be an a-hole. Be an M-M-A-hole. Yeah!